Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Couch Crunch Podcast. I'm your host, Nick. And on this episode, we have our two newest members, uh, Danny and Aaron. Um, I know you guys already heard about them in the last couple of episodes, but we officially took the time to make them official members. So welcome a part of the crew, guys. And um, it's going to be a fun a journey to really get into these, some of these topics, but you guys can go ahead and introduce yourselves, even though most people already know who you are, but we like to just do an introduction here every single time. So go ahead. What's up, guys? It's uh, Danny again. I'm glad to be back on. Glad to be a part of the, the actual team and uh, hope to make some good uh, conversations and good memories and everything and moving forward. Cool, cool, cool. Um, hey, everyone. How's it going? Uh, you already know me. My name is Aaron. Um, happy to be a part. Have to be a part of this. Have to be on board. Uh, you know, looking forward to making new, you know, exciting content, stuff like that. And, you know, Hopefully not getting pissed off at games. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know that's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna happen. Uh, Don, as always, Don and Mir, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Yeah, um, what's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well out there. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Don. Hope, hope everyone's doing good this weekend. Get into these topics. All right, so let's jump into this. So the topics we have on this episode, we're actually going to cover is uh, Wild Hearts impressions. Um, Yakuza like a dragon. Uh, I always I always get this name last name. I was it Ishan? Ish, Ishan? Ishan. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, I, think I think it's Ishan. Ishan impressions. Yeah. Uh, the demo. So I think that's. I don't know if anybody got a chance to really dive into the Yakuza uh, franchise, but I think it's going to be fun to talk about it on this episode. Um, could the Switch Pro have a better hardware than the Steam Deck? I think that's going to steer up the pot in that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, the next we have Devil May Cry Peak of Combat. Uh, that's that's going to be new for me because I never actually heard about that. That's, Don's going to put us on to that. I think that's going to be fun to talk about. Um, yeah. Multiverse uh, multiverse players count has dropped below 1,000 uh, concurrent players. That is crazy since the game came out. Yep. Um, IGN's top five, uh, I'm sorry, top 25 anime list of all time. And last and finally, we have Remembering Midnight Releases and Could They Ever Come Back? Those brings me back. So I think that's going to be fun to talk about. But Mir, I, you probably got the most uh, experience with Wild Hearts. I tried it vaguely, like, you know, a little bit. But I, I think you probably got more time on my on your shoulders than I did. So um, can you go ahead, go ahead and take us away on that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so Wild Hearts, for people who don't know, is pretty much a, a action adventure slash a monster hunter like inspired game. Um, so if you're familiar with Monster Hunter, Wild Hearts would be pretty uh, pretty simple for you. Um, I think like. So EA for the past, I believe when it initially came out, but like, I think they were giving early access and I know it was for like 10 hours. Um, I know the game originally came out on the 17th, but I think if you had either Game Pass or EA Play, you got, you were able to access it three days prior to the release. Um, and then everybody was given like a, a 10 hour trial period with the game. Um, I put in about, I want to say four hours in the game. Um, and like from what I've played, I, I, I really enjoy it. I kind of thought I, I it's weird because I thought I kind of got scammed because like for the marketing for it, EA Play has it to where it's like, hey, you know, if you subscribe to EA Play, you get to play, you get access to Wild Hearts. But come to find out, no, you only get access to the ten out like the the trial. Right. I'm thinking okay, like, oh, I pay $5 a month and I get the full game type shit. The whole shit. game, correct. Only for I me to fucking finish the damn... Because technically it was really a demo. Like, once you beat a couple of the monsters in the world, you have to progress to the next side of the world, but they won't allow you to do that. Without purchasing the game. Exactly. That's so I was kind of like, what the fuck with that? But um, outside of that, the game... It's so it's weird because the PC version is shit. Like if you look it, on it, Steam right now, I, the PC version is shit. I don't, and that's why, and that's why I always say, like, I don't want to kind of shift into that direction. But you know, the whole debate about consoles and PC and shit, like, that's why I always will have a console for backup because, like, 
when the PC, when the PC, the primary powerful version is is not working, hmm. then that shit's not fucking working, and you gotta wait for a patch. Well, was so this pretty one, much. What? Sorry, uh, was this one specifically made for consoles first, though? Wild Hearts? I have no yeah. idea. Mm, yeah, we don't. It's, it's, we it's don't next really gen. Know. It's next gen only, so it's not on PS4 or Xbox I am Series X. The base, the base game, they probably. It's probably made for the PC first and foremost, then they probably put it down the console. Well, that's weird that it's being weird on Steam, though. Yeah, so, like, if you look at the Steam reviews, the game is, is complete shit, has so many mixed reviews. <laughs> um, but right now, on consoles, it's pretty well on Metacritic. And like I said, I have a fairly, like, trust me, I don't have any top-of-the-line PC setup. But I got, like, an Acer Nitro 5, and it's pretty powerful, right? So, like, I can play... I've been able to play like Cyberpunk, Apex Legends, all of these games on the highest quality, and I haven't had any fucking issue. So, like, you know, playing Wild Hearts, it was very, very annoying because I'm like, bro, I'm thinking, like, is this just me? Like, the, the game's so fucking laggy. It is. I'm only no, getting they can't, 60 frames per second. They can't. And they, I'm just like, it can't handle. Web- it can't handle. I, I don't even think. I tried 240. It didn't ha- it definitely a lot of games can't handle that yet. Yeah, but 240, yeah. it can't handle that. Um 120 couldn't handle it. Barely, um, exactly. Yeah. I was at 122 so, and it was just like yeah, not, I yeah. couldn't see the difference. So I'm like, there's no way it's my PC. It's just right. no fucking way. It's just so you know wrong, I guess. I, I, I did some digging and you know, I went on Reddit, I went on uh Twitter, and a lot of people were saying they were having issues. Um, but in terms of the console performance, it's it's great. Like the console version, I haven't had any issues. Uh, it's 60 FPS. Um, I think at 4K, it's 4K 30. Um, so like on consoles, the game performs very well. I think right now on Metacritic, it's sitting at an 80 for the PS5. So I would agree with that rating. Mm. Um, but yeah, like the I think yeah, like if you're familiar with Monster Hunter. I think this game would be very like similar. It's pretty much a no brainer to you if you if you really enjoy uh, the Monster Hunter series. I got into Monster Hunter with Monster Hunter World, so that was a later one, and then I I played Monster Hunter Rise for a little bit. Um, so seeing gameplay before this this game came out, I kind of already knew that I wanted to get this. Um, there's, but yeah, I mean, outside of the combat is the the biggest thing for me that I enjoyed about it the most. And really, had, like, because this entire setting is very, like, um, I don't know what the correct, like, region or, like, air, like, ethnicity part for it is, but it's, it's very, like, Japanese. yeah, that's what it, uh, the, 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 I was going to say, like, it's very, like, um, Japanese oriented with, like, the attire, um, the weapon choices. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, it looks like samurai you know, and stuff, more Japanese. Yeah, so, like. It it really pays homage to that, and and like I said, even in terms of the combat, like I like the combos you do. What I what I liked about it was like when he climbs like the 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 sides and stuff like that. It kind of gives yeah, you that's, that up. That's more of the Monster Hunter. Part yeah, of it. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was I was yeah. I, not I don't I'm not to compare it to Zelda, but I'm saying Zelda did the same thing when you're climbing the the you know the wall. Yeah, you got that timing. That, what's that one game? Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. That game. Yeah. You climb um, big monsters and stuff. I got a question. Is it as, is it mm-hmm. as grindy as Monster Hunter? Like absolutely. Uh, it looks absolutely. Yeah, it does. It looks like it. Yeah. Absolutely. Like I'm talking like you know, you got to kill X amount of monsters to get the armor you want. You know, you have to there's, find mad artifacts and shit. There's a lot of side quests, I think, right? Like Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually um, watching you know, some gameplay now and it's it's literally once you're fighting like mid fight into a monster, they run away from you and that's what's oh, happening. Oh yeah, okay. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and mind you like it's the traditional monster hunter formula, right? Like yeah. you know, it's, you you fight the monster for a little bit, they run off to the next area, they regenerate health. Then you go, once you find them, you fight them again until they're weaker and then they run off again. Yeah. It's the same concept. Like, I was going to say. Completely the same concept. Like yeah, I said, okay. the key difference is like they added this new core mechanic. I, I forget what it's called, but I think it's called the Kuruku or some shit like that. But it's pretty much this, uh, I think it's this device or something like that that allows yes. you to make different shapes and form. A lot of people compared it to like the building mechanic in Fortnite, which is crazy because it's not that. But it's pretty much just a tool that you get to use in the game to like access higher 
areas or to you know to like utilize it like just in case you want to attack from high ground for, uh if you want to attack the monster right it's just different different things you get to do with the tool um so i think that's the biggest uh feature that they have in this game that separates that from monster hunter okay um but the core again the core game itself is is pretty much the exact same it's the same concept how how does movement feel in that game it it's pretty it's I, it's pretty solid. Like I don't think it's the yeah. it's it's not stiff. I think it plays yeah. pretty smooth when you're walking around. Um, it, it definitely looks faster than Monster Hunter. It, that's what I was going to yeah, say. It's it definitely yeah. more fluid. Yeah. It's definitely more fluid than Monster Hunter for sure. All right, cool. Combat is pretty decent. Like Go ahead, now. I'm seeing it has like a feature called craft your hunting ground, so you could get to set like traps and everything. Yeah, like the exactly. Users. Oh, yep. that's cool. So there's this one tool in there. So in Monster Hunter, uh, it's, it's a little different because I don't think you have that tool. But Monster Hunter, you pretty much, I think most of the monsters are uh, given to you on the map. Or like as you progress through the game, you unlock different monsters. But within this game, there's a hunting tower that you get to build. And depending on where you put it, it'll scan for local uh, nearby monsters that's in the area. So, like, the monsters aren't just given to you. You have to, like, you know, have enough resources to build this hunting tower to be able to go ahead and find out where they are. Um, so right. I thought that was kind of cool. But, again, it, it all goes back to that that system that they implemented, like, this tool system that you're pretty much utilizing every time you play to go ahead and get you from point A to point B. Um now the, the the and I hate to make this comparison, but I had to bring it up because like it was a topic on Reddit as well too. But this game is fucking hard. This game is fucking hard. This is one game like if you're a Souls fan, I wouldn't say that this game is for you, but like I would definitely pit them in the same category for sure. Not in the not in the sense that like with Souls game, it's it's all about you know like dodging <laughs> dodging but it's all about just studying the me- mechanics of the the boss they're fighting right that's the key thing like once you right. learn their patterns and you understand what you're doing you know defeating a, a boss in souls you eventually you, you you get used to it but in this game it's completely different because the patterns aren't the same and like you, the boss doesn't have a health bar so you never know what your progress is like you you're consistently attacking them, but you never know. You never know how much damage you're actually doing That's because there's no health bar displayed. Exactly. <laughs> so like I fought, I, like I had, bro. I fought one fucking boss. I, I think his name. Is, for people who know the game, I think it was the the King's Hunt. That's what it's called. He's like a big, a fucking huge boss, right? Bro, it took me thirty minutes to beat this motherfucker. Thirty fucking minutes. Like, Jeez. I'm talking like, mind you, like. You know, Souls with- bosses, mind you, like, hold on, with this, Souls bosses, yes, they take a long time, but that's within multiple runs. I'm talking, bro, like, one run alone, it took me 30 minutes, but the first time I fought him, it took me about 25 minutes, but I still died. Not even the preparation, like, the, you know, the, po- like, if you have enough health, uh, the right exactly. weapons, like, like exactly, you know, like, like, the, the gear, is, like, you know, Monster Hunter is a little bit more forgiving, like, they allow you to go in with a lot of resources, but the problem is, is the, the fights are so fucking long, and that's why I say it's very hard, and it becomes frustrating, because... You know, if you're fighting, uh, let's say, Melania, right? You could spend a half an hour, but you would probably fought her like 15 different times to where you understand how to beat her. Somewhat, yeah. This game, no, you're fighting this one fucking boss for 30 minutes. And if you die, you wasted 30 fucking minutes. Do you get rewards? <laughs> I mean, like, that's the, that's the thing. Like, I mean, what- <laughs> it's not just like, oh, it's and, it, and it, you're, you're going to get tired. Like, you're not just going to be like, oh, fuck. Like, all right, I almost had it. Like, you know how you get that thrill, that excitement when you're fighting a, a Souls boss where it's like, all right, I almost fucked him up. This time I should be able to get it. You don't have that in this game. Like, if you fought somebody for 30 minutes, you're going to get fucking drained, bro, and you're not going to want to do it again. Now, the thing is, is it are, like, <laughs> so, so just like, what's the rewards from it? Like, do you get rewards and stuff like that? Or? Yeah, so, like, when you kill the, the boss, you get the armor set from it, which ultimately upgrades your character and makes them stronger. Correct. So, it's, right. it's highly rewarding, but it's so time-consuming. It's so grind-heavy. How, how many players online is it? 
It's only three, so it's only oh, co-op okay. up to three. Oh, Which and, and and the thing about Monster Hunter is like even with Monster Hunter World and Rise, like these bosses are so fucking. Di- I mean, shit. Call me a rookie. You know, I'm no this fucking one, expert. No, no, they're they're hard. <laughs> they're not. Don't li- like listen, bro. I'm no expert at all. But like these bosses are fucking hard, bro. Like. Yeah. Especially oh, yeah. trying remember, to fight them one on one, like. <laughs> yeah, I remember me, when me and Mayor used to play Monster Hunter. That shit used to take. Yeah, yeah which one? Which one was that? I think we were. I think we were all playing it, right? Like which yeah, one? We were playing uh, Monster Hunter Rise in the. Pool. Yeah, that that shit was hard. Yeah, that was. And hard. it's like it, it takes a long fucking time, bro, and like it's so draining when you don't beat them because it's like, yo, I just spent forty five minutes on this nigga. You want me to redo that? Like. Like, bro, come on. Like, I have, a, so I have a question. Different. So, for you said it's like Monster Hunter. So, do you only get that one samurai weapon, like that that katana thing that you get? No, you get the you get the upgrade. You get a bunch of different weapons. I don't think you get as many as you do in Monster Hunter. I think Monster Hunter has a bigger variety, but I think this goes back to the more again how we were talking about it, it being like Japanese inspired. Mm. So I think they limited the weapons specifically to the setting of the game. Um but yeah you get the to get a bunch of different weapons. Like I started off with like a a sword, a very heavy duty sword, and then I switched to the bow. I was using the bow for a little bit. Okay. And then okay. I switched to like a dual wielded weapon. So yeah, you definitely get to change up the weapon. I think the bet the the really thing I like about this game over Monster Hunter is the combat. Like the combos and shit you do in this game are fucking great. Yeah, I like how you can take out the sword. Like the combos you yeah. do are fucking great. It like, looks way better than Monster Hunter their combat system. Sure. It does. And then like when you actually defeat a boss, you get to do like a finishing kill. And it yeah. gives you that very Japanese inspired classic movie killing where like you know, they turns black and white. I see. Yeah, I see exactly. Yeah. They'll they'll no, amend their position, and then they'll just like slice the head off and shit. So like, it, it's really good. Um, I haven't bought the game yet, only because like it's very fucking pricey, and plus I just spent money on Genshin Impact, so like I'm not trying to like <laughs> do both. <laughs> but like, yeah, like once this game goes, game? it's seventy dollars. Okay. On consoles, but on on the PC, I believe it's sixty. Um, I can definitely see it going on sale soon. So once it drops like 40 bucks, I think I'm gonna grab it for sure. Yeah. Um, but for, but I think the biggest thing is like for people out there, like if you've always wanted to get into a monster hunter game, but you could never just get into it. I think wild hearts is a good secondary option. I think it's a little bit more user friendly. And like I said, I think the combat is a little bit more engaging. That's what I was going to say. So if you're looking for a game, like if you've always wanted to try Monster Hunter, but you didn't know where to get into it too, I would highly advise to check out that EA trial. Um, You know, go ahead and spend the 10 hours in there. And then, and it's actually, uh, it's actually free for the weekend right now. So I don't know. I know it's Sunday right now, but last time I checked, they, they had it. Yeah, it was free because I I got it today. Yeah, it's still free. Um, and this I would, is, I would highly check this out. Yeah. And this, and like what you just said, I think you touched on a good key point right there. It's like, um, I've never been actually into the Monster Hunter franchise. And this is, I think this is kind of like my first game that is like a kind of Monster Hunter, not the same type. You know, it's basically the same, almost the same. It plays almost the same as, as far as the mechanics. But I'm saying, like, for people who haven't gotten a chance to get into, the Monster uh, Monster Hunter franchise. I think this is a good opportunity for, especially for myself, because it's just the the mechanic. I mean, the the what the combat system is really good. It's up to par. Um, I like the character itself. Um, I like the fact that you can interact with a lot of shit in the game too. I, I was actually venturing out. You don't get to expect. You don't get a lot a lot of exploration, especially because it's just a demo. But yeah. you know what I mean? Like, at least like you get to at least wander the forest and um, get to talk to a lot of different characters. Um, you know, you get to pet, you know, animals and stuff like that. So that's when it comes down to like interactions. Um, this is this I, for, for me. I think I'm definitely going to want to pick this up like the full game. <laughs> like, this is really dope. I listen. I forgot to mention I, I was playing it and, and fucking Leah see me playing it. 
So she downloaded the shit too. She was playing it for a little bit. She wound up beating the first boss. And at the end, she told me she was like, Yeah, this I can fuck with, but Monster Hunter, I can't. Right. That, like, I couldn't, yeah, I, I can't I couldn't really fuck, fuck with Monster, Monster Hunter. Hunter. I can't. <laughs> is it, <laughs> I was just like, wow. Is it the same people who made it or like who who made this? I one? don't think so. No, I don't think so. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, because it's been as EA games, right? It's published by them, but I don't think it's developed by them. Yeah, it's most like another oh, developer okay. by them. EA probably published it. Um, who are the developers actually? Maybe that will give me a little more insight. Um, it was developed by oh, Soulmate. the Dynasty War, the uh, Dynasty. Dynasty. Oh, right. Yeah, that's exactly why. Yeah, I, I, could, about that. I could see a little bit of Dynasty Warriors yeah, in there. Yeah, oh, yeah. so that makes sense. All right. Yes. All right. That's uh I think that was some good impressions, guys. I mean, I hope you, if you guys haven't got a chance to really check out Wild Hearts or if you never even got into the Monster Hunter franchise, definitely this is your gateway to getting into that type of uh that that type of style of games. So Aaron, I'm surprised you didn't check this out. Yeah. You know, your Nintendo fans love Monster Hunter. Uh, they do, they do. <laughs> I'm but surprised I'm, you I'm didn't one check one this the, one I'm out. I'm one of the Nintendo fans who do not like Monster Hunter that much. So. Yeah, I'm a Nintendo <laughs> fan that don't like Monster Hunter either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nintendo <laughs> fans have to like it because they don't have any other third party games. Let me stop. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I'll give it a try. You sound like you're giving it glowing reviews, and maybe it might be what gets me into Monster Hunter. God. I'm always here to grind fest that was Monster Hunter. And, uh, Listen, I, I'll Monster say this here, like, bro. if it's it, like, it, for me, this is one of these games where it's like I would have to play with people online because it's just too frustrating to do the shit alone. Okay, cool, cool. I'm sorry. Like, I this like I like, and I don't mean to sound like a sucker, but like, bro, like this like game, like Souls games. All right, cool. Going into it solo. All right, I mean, I can do that, but this one, nah. Like you, I'm not about to spend 45 minutes. Within the first run, mind you, the first run, oh, like yeah, not yeah. four on, or five. Get on, get on, get on. Yeah, like nah, it's not <laughs> like I'm trying seven different times within forty five minutes. Like, yeah, nah, I'm good. spending forty five minutes on one ball. So it's like it, it's like you need people to actually come in and play with you and help you out with that, probably. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Dark yeah, Souls no, three no, was, not, was not frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> um, but all right, let's go ahead and move on to our next topic. Uh, Yakuza like a dragon, Ishin impressions um Mir, you can go ahead and start us off too i got that i got i got you though i got i played a little more with this one yeah i got you um so did anybody play any yakuza games i, played, have, yeah, I, I, played, you... the, I played the jrpg kind of like one like does that even count as a yakuza game at that point Cause... yeah because i was about to say like did you play like a dragon was it that one yeah like like a dragon i think it was like a dragon yeah I played that with, and I think his name was Ichigo, the main character, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he was like a his he was like a bum or some shit, and then like, <laughs> yeah, 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 like he, so, like yeah. I mean, Yakuza, who those who don't know, it's just like correct. I might be wrong, but like, don't kill me if I am. But it's all like in gangster inspired everything. Yeah, like, Yakuza yeah. is yeah. like gangster. It's just like street oriented crime based off of that, like. Um, they're like so a mafia, I, exactly. Yeah, perfect. Yep. Yeah. So, like, I played like a dragon, I thought that game was really good. Um, like Aaron said, it was a JRPG, I liked it. That one, this one's completely different, it's not like that at all. It's more so, uh, how do you describe it? It's not really, it, it's not a hack and slash, but no. it's like, it's like uh, Scarlet Nexus, you know, how the world is very limited. You oh, can't yeah, jump. You yeah, can't. Like you're very limited. Yeah. You're very limited on your movement, but you, all you really get to do is just attack and dodge. That's pretty much it. That's it. Really That's the main. That too bad. Exactly. So like it, it's like that. I played the demo for maybe like thirty minutes. Um, the the best thing I liked about it, I, I think I would get this. Um, right now for anyone who wants to know, uh, it's sitting at about a, a eighty three or something on Metacritic. Um, for people who are really into Metacritic, that want to know scores just beforehand. Um, I think that's pretty good. Um, like I said, I think I would get this game, but I don't know if I would cop it right now at that price point. I just feel like there wasn't enough. It, uh, enough didn't pull me into to spend 60 bucks on it. Um, but if I, I, I see it at like a 30 to $45 price point, I would definitely pick it up. Absolutely. I think the, the best part about this is the, the gameplay itself. Like 
the combat was to me it was very tight like it was very tight very locked in it had a lot of technical aspects to it like i can see it being like a skill gap like between people who really invest their time into it and then like for beginners um because there's even one section in the demo where pretty much in the beginning you're fighting a lot of people up close they have guns some of them have knives and swords and then there's one part in the demo where you're in this long uh this you, i don't want to say it's an alleyway but it's a long asshole between the other end and on the other end there's a bunch of guys with guns and then you're on the opposite end so like you have to get through all of them motherfuckers with guns and like you're just getting shot the fuck up yeah but you know if you have to really know how to dodge you have to know how to you, block the, the you, you gotta be really sword. fast with how you switch up like the weapons and exactly, stuff exactly yeah exactly so like in terms of like combat there's definitely like a technical aspect there um so yeah i I thought the demo was really cool um graphically i mean it was okay it was nothing crazy the protagonist seems pretty cool i was about to say Um, is this like the first uh yakuza that's actually made for like the next gen or i think no well no like a dragon was technically a ported up upscale to next gen but i mean i guess official is what you would say for this one I thought this was on last gen too. I don't um, know. Maybe I'm wrong. Has this series ever been known to like not for me, obviously, but has this series ever been known to push the graphical boundaries? Yeah, Absolutely not. And no, I don't really it, give a fuck about yeah, that. Absolutely not. Don't put much from this one then. Nah, yeah. it it was always focused on like uh, you know, the like I said, kind of like being in the streets and you know, okay, taking over okay. co- yeah, yeah, gang cultures and you know what I mean? And and it, it, it was known for being silly in a way. Cause you got the way the combat oh. moves on the other Yakuza's are pretty much like yeah, it's it yeah, you yeah. got what dance moves and shit. Like I know yeah. for a, like a yeah. dragon was silly. So Yeah, like yeah. a dragon was silly as fuck. Well. Like I don't know how the story was always like it I don't know if it was like any serious or it, it tried to be serious at some points, but then it's like the the, the combat itself try is just throws you off because how silly it could be. Um, for me, I mean, I like the, I definitely like the de- the demo. It wasn't terrible. Um, like I, the the gameplay was kind of, I mean, the con- like the controls themselves are kind of a little difficult because especially, it, he he just feels stiff. Like when you play him, it's just yeah, that's what it looked like to me. It looked really yeah. stiff. Like when you're trying to block, um, and then you're getting hit from behind, it feels like the the enemies are a little faster than you are. So it's like okay. y- you know. It, like Mira said, it's like you got to be very fast with how you're actually switching between the weapons, your blocking, uh, the the way the the way the fast like the movement in the game is just like uh, you know what I mean. Like it's just one of those things. Like all right, it's not. It, it might not. I don't think for most people it's gonna like tarnish like the experience. But I think like you know if you're a really true Yakuza fan or if any any gamer out there who hasn't got a chance to really break into this franchise i mean like i think it's it it de- besides that i think it's it's good the graphics are not terrible um i think uh the, as far as the mechanics uh i think like what was it to to cut a bench like i was trying to tell mira off the air uh it's like to cut a bench you have to actually hit like you have to do one of your heavy attacks to cut a bench. Yeah, I'm like, his regular attacks. Yeah, no, nah, that's what man, I mean. Yeah, like you should be able to like jump over the bench. Inputs. Like I don't <laughs> exactly, but there's no jumping ability. So. <laughs> there's no <laughs> no jump. You can't jump sure. like and not even a casual like a regular basic attack. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like it's just <laughs> yeah. I, you know how many times I've been hitting an attack button to try to bust the shit open and like nothing. Works. No, you have to really <laughs> charge up the attack. So it's like yeah, I, I don't know, bench, man. Like just a, like a regular bench at the charge of your attack to cut that bench. Have. You gotta charge up the attack. To get, you gotta use specific attacks. Yeah. Yes, that's and stupid. it. Yeah, yeah. That's what um, I mean. Um, I guess but it but, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Try whacking a bench with the sword, and then see what happens. Yeah, that's how I'm thinking. <laughs> it's just like just move the bench. I don't know. <laughs> just, move the bench. just move the bench. Um, but it's just like I I don't know, man. Like, like as far as like uh, it, it definitely captures the Chinese culture for sure. Um, it it don't even seem this one's like the the first part of the game, like the demo is just like capturing in like a dojo, right? Like I think that's like a yeah. 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 Whereas versus like I don't know if this is the same character, right? The I think all Yakuza's has different characters and different timelines. I'm sure. I'm like different yeah. story between each different game. stories, correct? Yeah. yeah. So in this one, I'm 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 guessing it kind of takes place like during the samurai area, if I'm not 
era, if I'm not really mistaken. Yeah, I could. Yeah, from looks like, yeah. it looks like feudal era Japan or something like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, this is like before the Yakuza era. Like, yeah. so this might be like telling the story on how it how it happened. Maybe I'm yeah, not. How the family originally began. Probably, right. Likely. Right. So I mean, it it doesn't look silly as much as the other ones do. I think mm-hmm. it, it's trying to it's trying to be more serious. That's kind of what I'm getting from it. Um, but it's just like there is some things that's kind of like you know the with the bench I can't let that slide, man. Like the bench is like my enemy at this point. That's funny <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Like, but nah, it's it's pretty good for me though. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pass on this one. I never liked Yakuza <laughs> at all. I, any of the games I've I've seen and played a few of them, and I never got into it. It was like one of those games that you actually just pick up at the five out bin, like you know. Yeah, what I mean? <laughs> not yeah. even. I wouldn't even take a second gander at it. <laughs> I know it's got like a cool fan base though, like like the Yakuza yeah. collection right. series. Yeah, I haven't played any of them though, but. That's what I mean. Like, I would like to get into it one day, um, but maybe I'll, I'll probably pass on the other ones. I'll probably play this one, like, more. Yeah, this one seems, like, more oriented around the samurai yeah. versus, like, being in a mafia with the Yakuza. Right. And yes. it's still, the, the, de- the demo is still available for anybody who has, like, the next uh, next gen. Um, but that's, that's I think that's a, that's pretty much it, though. Um, it, it comes out on PS5 before PS4. And like um, yeah. Um, okay. All right. So that kind of brings us to our conclusion on the Yakuza. Um, so pretty much uh, we can go ahead and move on to our next topic. Uh, could the Switch Pro have a better hardware than the Steam Deck? I have no idea. I think this is going to be a very interesting topic. <laughs> I, I would. I, I, the an- the, bro, the real answer is yes. If Nintendo stopped being fucking cheap. Yeah. That, that, that's hard, <laughs> the real bro. answer is yes, but the Nintendo answer is no. There you go. What would what would the specs look like? I got to bring up the specs, maybe comparable at the very least to base PS4. Do not go beyond that. <laughs> the Switch, right? Aaron, Aaron's like, I don't have no high expectation. Hold on, hold on, wait, like, wait, wait. <laughs> no, we just out of curiosity. Why is that though? Is it because like because like Nintendo has the money to do it? Oh yeah, obviously. but they don't to, care. They like, want to pocket that money. That's the thing. They don't, they, they don't want to make a new system. See, no, 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 but but that's what I'm saying. Like, are is it because of like um but that's what I'm saying? Like, is it because like the games they're providing, like why wouldn't they want to push the boundaries of making something that's on par with current consoles? Like, I just don't understand the because concept. Nintendo fanboys will continue to buy it. That's why. Um no, they make they make enough money. I was like you said, they make enough money. The problem is that they one, they cheaped out on their hardware already. Like, has anyone experienced Joy Con drift? I know y'all have. Okay, yeah, man. absolutely. I, I, have, like, I probably fixed like three Joy Con. Okay, already. there. Now that never really <laughs> happened with old old Nintendo hardware before. This is by probably like the first time. I'm sure it probably happened, but nowhere on the scale like it happened now. You get like people talking about it on Twitter all the time, stuff like that. How long is the um, Steam Deck's battery life on a high end game? Would y'all say? Has anyone played it on a high end game? Uh, no, but I I. Like watched a lot of like comparisons and stuff, and it does it. It lasts. It's not that good. It's not, you'll <laughs> yeah, probably right. get like an maybe an hour out of it, maybe less. Really? Is that low? That's yeah, crazy. You, you wait, 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 wait. This was on for the Steam Deck or the Switch? Sorry, I missed that. The Steam Deck. No, no, Steam, Steam Deck. Deck. Steam Deck. Yeah, so you gotta have it. Like if you're playing the high end game and you want to at least at least get two hours out of it, I would say have it plugged in. My, my okay. All my, right. My biggest question is. um if they do have the capability to make something as powerful as the Switch Pro, it's like, why do they skip out on some of the shit that matters? You know what I mean? Like the, like you said, the drift, uh, the, the, the drift cons, like when they're drifting, it's like small shit that they just don't want to pay for or fix. I don't, I don't get that part. I don't. Well, they're not going to pay for it now because they just won that little uh, court case. I don't know if y'all saw. They won that little court case with the joint con drift. So. Now they could say, "Oh, it's just us. It's not. Uh, it's not them. It's not it's <laughs> they're, us, they're, a gamer. You're just crazy. Yeah, there's nothing wrong <laughs> yeah, with it. Yeah, 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 you're just crazy. There's nothing wrong with you. So, Yo, to be honest, bro, <laughs> I've I've been stopped using fucking Joy Cons. I just use the the, the what is it? Stopped. The controller, right? I think I use the nah, Pro I, controller. Yeah, like I, nah, I've been using the I forget what it's called, but the split pad. I got like the Pac Man version and shit. 
Mm-hmm. I just use that shit. I don't fucking bullshit with those Joy Cons no more. Well, they can, like I said before, they can make a console as strong as hell, a PS5. They really can, but they're not going to because they know they can still they can cheap out on the hardware and make more money by doing that. You know what I mean? Well, because this, of their well, first party game. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. I'm not supporting it any longer. Fuck that. I don't know, bro. You can count me Metro out, Palm, bro. They showcase that Metro Palm 4 on that new <laughs> PS4 level hardware. You hey. gonna get it. Bro, you can <laughs> count that. Hey, bro, I'm done, bro. I'm trying to get fucking scammed. No, I mean, like, like literally, like, the Switch was already anemic when it came out, right? In t- 2017, right? It's been that long, right? 2017 when the Switch came out. It was already anemic by then. It was already outdated. So, but people ate it up and bought it because they you know it's like okay, well at least it has games. At least it's not like the Wii U that didn't have any games at all. So they was fine with it. It was cool with it. Right. But this and like, I imagine making a PS4 level hard like a PS4 level handheld. I imagine making that probably doesn't cost that much money to me. Like to manufacture, right? Probably doesn't cost that much money to manufacture. So they'll probably still they'll make a, a like a a profit off of it. You know, Sony and Microsoft aren't making a profit off of their consoles. They get their money from like the subscription services and the games that they sell. So, so I don't know, Nintendo just wants to maximize the profit as much as possible. And if that means making the Switch Pro or Switch Two, probably a Switch Two at this point, it probably won't be a Switch Pro. But let's, let's say making the Switch Pro, Switch Two, my bad, Switch Two, like marginally power, like more stronger than a PS4, or maybe slightly under a PS4, like say Xbox One level, they'll do it. Does it make sense? Uh, maybe not to us. Maybe no, not to us, but you know, to Nintendo dudes or in Nintendo dudes and uh, Nintendo as a corporation, most likely it probably does make a lot of sense. We don't got put that much money into the system, into the system. We make back extra money because it don't take us that much to make the system. I would like it to be compared with comparable to Steam Deck, but let's be real, Nintendo doesn't really listen to us. No, they never <laughs> will. Either. Listen, their specs. Um, What's the specs on the Steam Deck again? The specs I already got pulled up. AMD APU. It's well, the, Zen- well, the, the first. Sorry, the, the first issue is like, <laughs> um, sorry, mm. the, like the first issue is fucking. And, and sorry, Danny, I know I know you're excited for it, but like. <laughs> I heard it, this shit's only 720p. So what the fuck is up with that? Well, it, it, it's it, not. It, 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 I was I was gonna I was gonna say it, the the processing on there is actually really fucking good. It can actually it's it's for- I, I, that's the part that I want. Now I've been playing for I like I've been playing fucking Switch since it came out. Now yeah. I've been dealing I've been dealing with that. And I played older games. Like I don't give like our, the last couple episodes that we did. I don't care for the graphics. I just want yeah. my shit to run. I just want it to. I want to be able to play Hogwarts bro, Legacy. Nah, bro. But yeah, 720p is wild, though, bro. I don't care. About no, that. Mary, it actually goes up to twelve eighty times eight hundred. Actually, yeah, that's okay, if you get the right. higher model, though. I don't think they all come with that. I think You're right, and it, it does. It does actually say that. It actually says some models actually you have can to get the highest. Model. Correct. Yeah. Hey, what do you think I'm point? doing? What you think I'm going with the cheaper one? Nah, I want my shit to play. Well, nice. I, like either way, like bro, four hundred, <laughs> I mean, bro, mind you, the fucking switch is ten eighty p. Like, yeah, but can you get? Can you get? Can you get? The switch, switch dot you, is ten eighty p. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but can the you? Sw- play? I thought the switch OLED was ten eighty p. Did they? No, 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 <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking at my switch right now. I got a fucking old lid. That shit is 720, bro. It yeah, just, 720. The colors just look oh, better. Shit. Nothing this different. Is, bro. I, can't yeah. I, I thought play. that, bro. I, this whole time, I thought that issue was 1080p. Fuck no. You think Nintendo gonna give you that? Come on now. Hell no. Right? That's crazy. I bro. paid 400 dollars for this goddamn thing. You think they upgraded it to, to 1080p? Fuck no. <laughs> They'll say that they'll say ten AP for the Switch XL plus plus or some dumb shit like that. Yeah, that's right. what they do. Come on, dude. And, and the Steam thing got more gigabytes too. How, right. how, mm-hmm. Come on, Amir. Come on. How how dumb do you think I am that I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> switch it over if you think that was bro? Not, you like, can't play Steam. Not like, you, I have a Steam account. I got games still sitting there not being played. I, I can't play Steam games on the on the Switch. Not like yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying like no no I'm not I'm not saying like it's not a worthy Switch. 
I'm just saying, like, I thought it's for, for the because I haven't seen like the scene back in person or anything. So like, oh well, when I, I just when assumed I it, that we will it was like 1080p. When I went, when I get it, I, we will arrange your meetup, and then you'll have your yeah. first first hands <laughs> on, and I'll let you play the games on it, and you tell Listen, me what you think. I need it because I'm debating on getting one, but I'm just like, I don't know if I need it. That's well, I will I'll let you know for sure. Yeah, because I was. It's be- important to remember that these devices are trying to be handheld first. So I'm, can't, I'm all they, for it. I'm they all can't for it. have too much power chopped into, it or else they and that's like, they spend like an hour, an hour battery. And like, I'm glad that you you, I, you can't fit the battery like a big battery in these small devices. Yeah, exactly. It's not gonna work. So. I'm glad you brought that up, Aaron, because like it, it's not even it's about. Than- <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think they're just trying to focus on too much of the heavy graphics. You know what I mean? I think it's just they about. They should, though. I think they should. They- they- well, at that point, you might as well just start walking around with like how the Xbox has that fucking <laughs> <up> screen, <laughs> and that screen that you connect to it, and you just carry a big ass fucking luggage with you. Oh so the man! The thing that showed at least the thing that at least showed what a stronger switch could be, right? It at least showed what it could be. A PS4. Tech, PS4 yeah, yeah, Pro. exactly. Basically, basically, like, right? I don't say PS4 Pro. You're giving too much credit. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe base model Xbox One at the very least. Uh, but what, um, for the Switch Pro. Yeah, for yeah. the Switch Pro, slash Switch Two. I don't think they're not probably going beyond it's that. It's gonna be a Switch. I, I I read about it. They said they're 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 killing the Switch name. Is gonna be a different, completely different system. Is bro, there mean, will be no bro. There would be no. I, there's not going to be a Switch Pro. You know why? Yeah, not, because not, there's no. Fu- what the fuck performance are we getting? All the games, <laughs> all the first party games that Nintendo run like shit anyway. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Like, hold they up. don't. That's it's not. not well, That's like, not, it's not that it's not that they don't run like shit, but it's just like graphically in in terms of performance, you don't need to enhance them. They're already good at what they are. So what are you going to make a stronger pro model for when you have nothing to show for it? We for always, games like all Hy- I want Hyrule, is to hit those Hyrule great, Warriors. those great. Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, let's say Hyrule Warriors. The shit looks like good shit. on the Switch now. Very it, it, like it does, but but which one, the uh, definitive Hyrule? or the the Hyrule? The is the, the, the Age of well, the mm. Age of Calamity. That's the one. Yeah, that, that was one. my mm. shit. I like that. No, one. That I do one like fire. that one. But the problem is when there's too many enemies on the fucking board, bro. That shit goes to like ten frames, bro. <laughs> ten yeah. Frames. Yeah. <laughs> ten frames. I don't think it would have harder, hard, um, better hardware though. I think it it would probably just be like you know something good for no the next step up know. for Swift for for Nintendo. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it would be like do, something significantly better, better right? Right. I didn't give it and, not having better hardware the second If they want to make like, the Switch Pro, bro, I better be able to play fucking Warzone at 60 FPS. Yeah, right. That's just going to That's the fire, type, bro. That's the type <laughs> of yeah, 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 that you need to that have. Maybe pop. Yeah, that's a, I say at the very least, I want it to be PS4 level at the very least. I just wanted that. If it can give me that, then it can no, at least run third because, gen game. No, dude, that's not even accurate either because I don't even think PS4 can run fucking Warzone. It, I'm going to tell you right now from personal experience. <laughs> From personal experience, I've tried to play Warzone on this bitch. My fucking PlayStation 4 was literally floating in the air, bro. <laughs> that, shit, that shit was about to take off. But, bro, but even in it, I don't even think it's a 60 FPS. I think it's still docked at 30. It's like, it, it runs between... Okay. It, it runs Warzone between is at 30 on PS4? Yeah, yes, it, does. it runs like 25, 30. Runs it goes between the it two. It never went on 60. 60 was only for the next gen stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It That's never crazy. Ran, not once. Nope. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, this, a Switch Pro model better be at least like a PS. It had in no, at this point, that shit got to be PS5 level. Cause and not no, in terms of graphics. Not not, no, 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 no we're gonna be on PlayStation Six, <laughs> an Xbox fucking Square or something. We're gonna square. be somewhere else. Nah, the, the, listen. I, like I said, I think Nintendo has the money to do it. It's just like, yes. like Aaron said, it's his biggest thing. Like Nintendo fans, it's they're they're the reason why. Like they do, Nintendo, uh, Nintendo has no pressure to make high demand games. That's the problem. They don't. If they all their don't. games were high demand, then they would have to make their console more powerful. Like, why would they make Pokemon look good if, if Pokemon Square and Violet, I said Square and Violet, whatever the hell they're called now, Pokemon it's Square right. and Violet, so, what, I think, was it, like, 20 million in under two weeks? Come on now. Come on. 
No. It, it don't, like, it, what it, does it not look good? It's not look good. What are they going to make Kirby 4K? 4K? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? Kirby, Kirby, Kirby 4K? Kirby <laughs> 4K? I like, can't see you doing it. I want exactly. to see that motherfucker. I want to see that motherfucker sweat. I want to see him sweating. And it's that, sad though, would, bro, because I feel like Nintendo yeah. back in the day, they definitely were more on par with Xbox and PlayStation. They oh, were yeah. willing to oh, go yeah. with those ties, like. You know, my, like games like Def Jam Fight for New York being on all platforms, including Nintendo. At first, like it, it was just different. It like, was actually a time where, it was like, what the fuck? Like, it was actually a time that Nintendo actually was holding the league with the Wii. You facts. know what I mean? Like, uh, nah, I, mean, I say GameCube. Was, GameCube, yeah. GameCube, yeah. GameCube, GameCube, yeah, I still GameCube. say GameCube was much better. Yeah, GameCube was way GameCube. better than the Wii. Like, it's not even comparable. The GameCube oh, was up. way better. Not, not better. Not better. Bro, that shit was better. miles better, better than the Wii. Like, <laughs> not, not the GameCube was, the games bro. for GameCube was so much better, bro. Bro, the GameCube in itself, like, you know how many different colors the GameCube came in, bro? The Wii oh, had a few colors. standard colors. Like, the controller was fire. The the third party access of games, come on. The the GameCube was the best. You had those Nintendo connections console. to play Game Boy Advance and shit on there, bro. That yeah, console yeah, yeah. was okay. crazy, bro. Okay, okay. They should have built it They're off not- the systems off the GameCube from then on. They should have did. The- yeah, but Nintendo was always behind the other two, like Sony and uh fucking Microsoft. There was, it was always going to be behind. Think of it as like Android and fucking Apple. Like Android. I'll tell you one thing. Have the newest shit. And then I'll Apple's t- going to follow up with it. I'll tell you one thing, and I see this in the future. I don't know if it's going to be within the next year or two, but the only way Nintendo can beat Sony and Xbox, especially in terms of subscription, the only way that the Nintendo shit can be justifiable is they pick GameCube collection up there. They pick GameCube collection up there. Take my money. Take my money. No, no, no. Listen, no, no. I'm not saying I'm not saying about owning the like whether you own the game or not, that's different. But what I'm saying is is if they put GameCube games backwards compatible on that that Nintendo. Never, never, never. I'm paying. That's bullshit. If they put all those Zelda games up there, y'all not playing. (laughs) Bro, I mean, never going to do it, That's why they're doing this fucking fifty dollars streaming shit. Nah, they're, they're, they're going to yeah, yeah. them over. But, 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 bro, before the end of the Switch's life cycle, they're going to put GameCube up there. I can bro, see. they already re- they yeah, already got description. GameCube games on there though. They are remastering them. I just I don't think they're going to put. They got Bat and Kaido being remastered now. Metro Bomb being remastered. Like they're going to remaster. They're going to put game. Game. They're gonna pick GameCube on there. Watch the first game is going Mario Kart Double Dash. I'm telling you. That'd be awesome if it was. They were at least be able to make the they were at least able to make the point of okay, maybe 50 might be worth it for those who do not own for GameCube, bro. Come on, bro. Okay. You can you can make you can maybe make the argument. They put Def Jam Fight for New York on bad for backwards compatibility. Take my money. Take my money. Take my money, bro. Just play. Look how hard it was for them to do going on. They're not doing no death jams. Oh, way bro. too much. And I don't know because the the I'm looking up information on the scene there too that you can add emulators onto it too. Like, like you might as well just spend yes, that extra man. extra couple hundred on the nah, bro. That's like you a fabri- have, nah, bro. That's you like a fr- <laughs> bro. You can have your 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 current games. And you can have all your fucking emulators for free nah, if you're paying nah, that fifty dollars nah. subscription. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, Aaron, let me ask you this because you're a Nintendo advocate, bro. Uh, 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 Listen, uh. That, that's like a forbidden rule, bro. The play Nintendo games on PC is like forbidden. That's yeah, yeah, the yeah, whole about- experience, bro. You like, just hear these assholes on Twitter. <laughs> you, you have to pay that 15 frames for 100 p or else it's soulless, bro. Like, what? Absolutely <laughs> not, bro. Absolutely not. You're not supporting the developers. Sorry, bro. Me pirating one copy of Mario don't do shit to them. That game bro. sells like 30 million copies. I will <laughs> tell the high seed first of all, and that they don't. They, they, so they know that's the only advantage they got over the other two systems is their exclusives. So when you say some shit like, oh, I can play it on my scene deck, ha, huh? look at me play Astro Chain on the scene deck, it's like, and it runs better. <laughs> <laughs> when, you say that, when you say that, it's like a, the, the, 
it's like a it's like it's an insult to them. They got the to know the defendos, the defendos fans, <laughs> defendos. You get you got those guys to be like, well, I don't know. They make the most dumbest bullshit excuses ever, man. They don't like it, but like I said, like, like do you care? Like it's not gonna do a put a dent into Pokemon. You know how much that series sell? Mm-hmm. Do you know how much the series sell? Like, I'm being honest, that sells millions. Yeah. Uh, the whole a whole country could pirate it and would still probably be over twenty million <laughs> copies. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Here we go. The whole country. Guess what? Later on down the line, that shit saves money in my pocket that I can get it for free and emulate it, then fucking spending seventy exactly. dollars on it. Now, let so, me play the games at the resolution and res and resolution and frame it. I want to play them. I don't want to play them on struggle hardware. Not no yeah, welfare exactly. console. Now, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of PlayStation Two, you can also like. Like games like Death Stranding and like uh, Last of Us that goes on the PC. I you just can played, play it on the PC. Yeah. Bro, I just played Ape Escape on my fucking phone, bro. PS1, PS2 <laughs> fucking emulators on nah, my cell bro. phone. Nah, and guess what? nah, bro. It's fuck that, bro. bro. This is bullshit. Like, <laughs> 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 nah, bro. Y'all are wild, bro. Y'all really sitting up here advocating for emulators and shit. Nah, fuck out of here, bro. No, I mean, Mary's like, as long as it keeps it traditional. Let me tell you something real quick. How much money do you think Nintendo already took out of my pocket? You think I give a fuck if I'm going to emulate it yeah, exactly, for free on my phone? Exactly. Get bro, the fuck there. That's listen, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Man, they listen, make millions bro. of dollars. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm not about to like emulate. Like, if I want to play a game on the Switch, bro, I'm not about to try to emulate that shit on my PC. I'm going to just play that shit on the Switch. I yeah, understand, bro. like, dude. I, I understand, like, frame rate caps and graphics and all that shit, but, like, Bro, I'ma just listen play the shit on the Switch. That's listen, what the fuck I got it for. Listen, like, for, for, for you know me, what I mean? Like <laughs> for me, I would say fuck the graphics and shit, but for me is the money. Now I'm not spending 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars on something that I can emulate for fucking free and it only takes me yes. 10 minutes to download. But, but if that's the case, like think about when this new Tears of Kingdom come out. Think about how many people are gonna try to pirate that. Majority okay. of people are just going to so buy that shit on the Switch. Right now, they you can't really emulate Switch. You they only were able to emulate the Breath of the Wild because that shit was on the Wii U. That's mm-hmm. what they're emulating is the Wii U version. Uh, eventually, they yeah, can I don't know what they got on now. It's like the S game. Now, but yeah, they can emulate. They can. It's a strange. <laughs> it, 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 hey, listen. I don't know. If, if I can get weird. this shit for free, I'm gonna get it for free. <laughs> I look at emulate. <laughs> Go ahead, Aaron. And, and, like, and the emulated <laughs> shit to me is like, like how y'all thought. Like, remember how we were talking about mobile games and shit? Like, emulating a mm-hmm. um, Switch game on PC is like playing Mario Mario Kart on mobile. Like, the shit just doesn't sit right. Like, doesn't it, sit right. It's just weird. weird. Like, Motherfucker, it plays. It's just weird. Yeah, like, that's what you saying. What are you it's weird. It's just right. weird, now, bro. Now, like, that, now, you don't sound like a defendo. You sound like a like, like, defendo. Bro, like, Mario <laughs> Kart on a Steam Deck is weird, bro. Like, Oh, my God. It's just I weird. Like, <laughs> I mean, Nintendo yeah, themselves aren't going to do it. They aren't going to put it on there because then they'll lose their one reason that we have to buy their consoles. It, their exclusives. Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> it's more fucked up. That the fact that we can play the same Nintendo games at a big at a better frame rate and graphic, whatever however you may call it, and they can't even do it themselves. They don't take the time and money to do it themselves that we had to sit here and fucking emulate it just for it to play better. Because how, the only people because, that? because I think is more, more people are people want people want simplistic things. Like nobody wants to be over the fucking top. And I think that's part of the reason, like, because we're talking about emulators and shit like that on PC. But if that was the case, like, imagine if all games were being able, like, you could emulate all of them. Where Consoles it? wouldn't fucking stand a chance and they would make no money. No, like, people don't I bet fuck. to differ like, on that one. I bet to differ because guess what? You still got them 2K Call of Duty fans, the Madden fans who don't, who, who aren't on board with the game like that. They will still buy a console just to play that one yep. shitty ass game. A year, yep. they will still buy it. That's at least, at the very least, that's at least thirty million PS fives alone from that base. They will buy it. But, they will. They but will. that if that was the case, people because we're to, we PC ranges from from low end to to expensive. 
So either way, like, even if they were to spend five to six hundred dollars on a PS5, you can get a fucking PC and emulate the same goddamn game. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think I like I think people just want simple shit. Like, yeah, plug in and play. Dumb. Right. I'm not like, I, like I'm not I'm not yeah, gonna but, go ahead and spend because mind you, in order like yeah, we're we're talking about surface level games now, but when we're talking about a little bit more advanced games like PS3, PS4 games in terms of pirating and emulating them, then you're talking about having a budget or a budget to high end PC that can do that. And that's talking a different tax bracket now. Now you're asking me to spend <laughs> more fucking money to go ahead and play these games where I could just get a fucking PS4, whatever the case may be, and just play the same shit. With hey, addition man. to them being free. With proper coding, even some of the bummies computers can run some of these high-end games now. Yep. Just, just, yeah, but y'all are talking part, playing the shit at 120 and under that frame <laughs> rates. <laughs> well, y'all not getting that shit on budget friendly. <laughs> y'all not getting that. Y'all, we, y'all not getting Mario Kart at uncapped on a budget friendly PC. Nobody that's not said, happening. Nobody said anything. Oh, about that's not happening. Twenty frames. Listen, no, that's man. not happening. <laughs> that was, I don't understand why, why the Switch was unable to play to pl- at least play sixty frames, bro. You bro, can tell me most, the, no, but Danny, bro. Most people don't know the fucking difference between thirty oh, they, and sixty. They, they that's why people seen, don't care. But they never because, seen sixty in their life. That's the but, problem because that's, they're too busy with the thirty frames on their fucking switch, bro. They, but that's because that's what I'm saying though. Like every the, bro, but that's my that's my point. Like people don't care. only people who care about frames are PC people. No one gives about fuck about frames. Now, hold on, now, hold on, PC. hold on. I don't want the next Derby Cry game to be running at no 30 frames. Don't no, say that now. Saying. No, no, but listen, <laughs> listen, works, listen, bro. listen. What I'm saying is, is like with the next gen consoles, those shits implemented 60 frames, right? Throughout our entire console gaming careers, we've always been known for having very low end frame rates. People don't give a fuck about high end frames you unless you've experienced or on, on PC. That's why, like, people, like, people are going to spend money on Mario Kart. At 30 frames per second, because it's something that it's very simple. Like it's not too much to it. So yeah. I don't I, I don't think people really give a fuck about frame rate. They, but you gotta think about it because we're we're in 2023 now. Look at your phone. Play a game on your phone now. That shit's running at 120 frames. How the fuck does that happen? And then the switch is still not running all at of them. It's select, yeah, select like, games. Sold out, all of them. Sold out power in the switch at this point, man. Bro, That's the crazy part. I want to say like 80 percent of the fucking games that I have on my phone, whether it be like a, a fucking swipe your finger game or an actual like get into it type game, no matter what it is, it <clears> it's the lowest 60 frames, bro. Anything bigger, I mean, higher than that is a is a is a tri- like a triple A phone mobile game. For yeah, the, but then your phone I mean, gonna fucking blow up because the hundreds. I used to play games on my phone like for hours. Yeah, it got a little hot, but what console and what fucking handheld does it? That's the PS Five and the Xbox, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, but look how big that shit is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look how look big how it fucking is. Big that sh- that's a fucking, that's like a mini, that's like a, a fucking mini house for somebody. <laughs> mini house. For but them. that's my point. Like, maybe, maybe they'll be able to uh, like, implement a boost mode in the next Switch. You know how PS4 Pro had boost mode? Boost no, I, mode shit. Like- I don't want to hear that boost mode, that turbo <laughs> mode. Man, make that shit. Uh, Come on, Nintendo. Make that shit uh, default. Make it default. And yeah, then the boost can. mode. The default should be 60, and then the fucking boost mode should be 120. Why can't okay. you do that? Why can't you do that? I mean, catch up it, all the, it, comes, Sony it, comes and to the, it comes down to the fans at this point. No, fans that like the Wii U because of no third party gamepad, yada, yada, yada. That's what Nintendo do. They gave us a bunch of third party, a bunch of games <laughs> straight from the start and all that stuff. Like, it, we got to speak with our wallets. And unfortunately, Nintendo fans, they like, they're like offering up their assets to Nintendo. They don't like now. Like, we're okay. We can, we I'm sorry, bro. About. If if you play third parties on the Switch, it's something wrong. <laughs> something wrong. Oh, I, agree. Bro. I, agree. I mean, I agree. I agree. I'm seeing PlayStation's already on board with like you know already putting their games onto PC already like with the, the God of War recently and. I'm saying you know, like and, everything's being it's being ported to the so, PC because. So, Everything that's going up with the PC, like you're you're at what the four forty series now? God damn, that shit's a fucking house too. It is. <laughs> so it kind of brings us back to the main question. So which one would be better, though? 
Steam Deck. Okay. Uh, 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 no. I mean, it, it's subjective. Like, it, it depends because, like, what are, like, are we talking about overall performance or overall experience? I think I'm, it's I'm only, I'm only it, it, I, I think once we. I think once we get a better spec spec board of the the new Switch, whatever name it's going to be, the console, maybe we can go from there. But we, we're just working with rumors, right? I don't even know if yeah. They, so well, yeah, we're just we're, going off of rumors. So I would say, <clears throat> like, I'm only saying Steam Deck because listen, this is this is we know the reputation of of Nintendo and what they what they got going on and what they're ending up going to come out with. But the Steam Deck just came out like not so long ago. And we we see that they're working with PC stuff and Steam. <clears throat> we we Nintendo is just gonna try to like try to weasel their way into cutting corners. You know what I'm saying? They will. They will. Yeah, they're, they're going to. And then that's why I said base at realistically PS4. That's why I said realistically. That's what. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Be, and then like, you got the Steam Deck that's basically a mini PC in your hands, way stronger than a PS4 right now. Yeah. So, yeah. but so, but go, going back to the question, we said like which one was going to be better. Correct. I'm going with the Switch in this one. I, I'm going to say, and I'm not talking just in terms of performance, but just in talks the of fan like everyday base. usage. Like the f- again, the Switch it offers simplicity. Like it's very simple. You know, it's not too much going on. Like for people who are like think about people who already have PC. Like there's no reason to get a steam deck if you already own a pc correct now the switch is different like you know uh, yeah you can emulate the games and shit like that but a majority of the switch games you can't just play them shits on pc you can actually right so like there's actually a reason like to have a switch and actually own one again yes in in the long run of course the steam deck is a way better option overall in terms of gaming but like it just depends on the experience. Like, if you just want something to grab and go, you don't want to spend too much money. You don't want something that's super complex. The Switch is going to be that that console, especially if it's going to be a little bit more stronger than what it is now. Again, people like if you just make sure. I don't know what Breath of the Wild runs at. I don't know if it's at thirty or six. Breath of the Wild is at thirty. It's at thirty. Okay, so um, imagine if the Switch Pro makes that shit to sixty. You know, people are going to be happy with that alone. Correct. Like, people like that. This one, like, I don't think people are going to really. Well, get that's what I'm saying. I'm good with six offers. I want at least sixty, dude. Yeah, that's sixty it. should be, you know, the standard. Which I don't understand because isn't Mario Odyssey at sixty? Yeah. Like, why yeah. the fuck is it yeah. Zelda? It, it why dips. is it Zelda it dips. At, it dips. at fucking? Why Zelda is a much more a much more complex game than Mario Odyssey, man? Let's be real. Yeah, Zelda's Mario. In terms world. of what? Gra- in terms of, but so, Mario looks arguably good, better. Okay, in my you, you, like, you got to understand, here, uh, Mario Odyssey. You're you're flying to different. Like the screen is giving you different worlds that you're going to, yes. and then and then Breath of the Wild is one massive open world. Like there's well, no loading exactly. screen. Right, right, right. No loading there's no screen nothing, and stuff like none that. Of that. Right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You're right. Yeah. So yes, I agree with you 100. percent I, I see, I hear you, and I see where you're coming from. But what if, what if the Switch, whatever Pro or whatever they they want to fucking call it, comes out right, and they're finally coming at 60 frames or whatever, and then the fucking Steam Deck 2 comes out or Steam Deck Pro or an updated Steam Deck comes out, then what? Oh, it's over. Then what? <laughs> you know, that that shit's that. not gonna happen. But you don't know. We the, don't, the, we don't know the, that as, as the re, you know what it is. It's because we. So mind you, the Steam Deck is among the most popular when it comes to like these new PC handhelds. Mm. But it's not the it's not the best of the best. Like no, it's if the anything, top. The top. if if anything, like we're talking increased frame rate. We would wait for like we would have to see what Ioneo would do or Razer. Like I yeah, highly doubt right. that Steam is going to be the first one to push those boundaries. Mm. So, like, I think, and and, and I'm mean, like you guys said, it's too fucking small. So, like, yeah. at this point, bro, listen, if I, I listen, I'll be the first to say if the Steam Deck comes out and that shit is at at least 1440p, pushing games at 120 frames per second, take all my shit and give it away. I don't want the PS5. I don't want the Xbox. <laughs> Get rid of my PC. Take it all. I just yeah. want the Steam Deck, but if we're they, so far from that. I don't think that that's going to happen. Right. If they get an official deck to it too, like how the Switch has, I already seen some people customizing like a, a deck that you can attach there's, to it that up to your screen. There's yeah. some type of deck to it that you can use. Absolutely, like, and it like says it right party, here. Yep. Which it, is which is still pretty cool. You can still use it the same way as the thing, but like 
I don't know. I, I you, wait, for, you know it's also weird too. Like I don't mean to cut you off, but Danny, you mentioned it earlier, and I, I think that's a good point too because mm-hmm. I've experienced it. Right? We talk about mobile games and shit, and like how they're pushing 120 frames. Right. What's up? Like, I, why isn't the Steam Deck in these other hand? Like, because I've like Genshin Impact, I can play that shit at 120 frames per second. Apex Legends Mobile, 120 so, frames. So Call of Duty Mobile. Yeah, I hear you. So the difference is that you're getting, you're losing that graphics quality. At least with the Steam Deck, the graphics. But they are look great the though. Phone. That's I, not true though. I know. I, listen, they they look great for the phone, but they're if you compare the graphics from the Steam Deck to the phone, they are very different. But that's not true, though, bro. The phone screens have better resolution than the, yeah, no, the no, no. Steam Deck. You're, yeah, you're looking at how crisp it is. You're looking at how clean it is. You're looking at how colorful it is. But, but as far as like the full graphics, bro, it's yeah, definitely the textures. Yeah, yeah, the textures, textures and everything like that, are definitely yeah. better on the Steam Deck than it is on your phone. That's why you're getting that high resolution on your phone because you're yeah. You, they cut so much texturized the, texture. Does. They cut so, so much I, I, shadows. They cut so much all that shit. But I, but I'm 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 confused now because like the Steam Deck's resolution is 720 p but the Samsung's resolution on the display is 4K. So I don't understand where that like I that's where I'm that's where I'm a bit confused because we talk Smaller about shadow screen. quality. They're arguably this bro. Have you seen the S23 Ultra or S23? I haven't seen. I haven't, I haven't seen bro, the S23 yet. It's the same size. Like <laughs> the, the S22 F phone is so fucking big. Like it's damn near the same size as the Steam Deck. Right. So like my thing is is like we're getting these mobile games that are being advanced to pushing games at 120 frames per second. Now, granted, obviously, the Switch games have much more in it. Like if you're playing a game like Control. That's much. That's a lot that goes into that game. You won't be able to get that shit on the phone. And if you do, yeah, that's, that's a very the problem. That's problem right there too. Also, is that the games you get on Steam that you will never get on your phone ever. Exactly gotcha. right. But I'm that just saying, like, different. yeah. But 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 even in that though, bro, there's still lower end games like a game like Fortnite. In my opinion, you can run that shit on your phone at 120 frames. I don't understand why the yeah. Steam but have you seen the that. fucking quality on Fortnite on your phone? It depends oh on God. what phone you have, though. Bro, <laughs> like that, it dep- the S22, and my shit runs at 120 frames, but the, the fucking textures are terrible. And, right, yeah, I, yeah. And I completely understand that. Yeah, I get, I get that, yeah. But my, then, my I phone's mean, only a year old. <laughs> but mind you, like, then it goes into that, well, are we sacrificing, are we willing to compromise the graphics for the performance? Like I told which you Which I before. wouldn't do. I, I wouldn't do. I, if I, I'm just going to play Fortnite on the Steam Deck opposed to the, the phone. I mean, I'm not opposed to graphics, man. But if if I gotta get more, if if, if I have to sacrifice um, gra- quality versus performance, I will. You that's will. usually the case with PC for the most part. Yes, because I want my I want to be able to play the game fluently, like without any issues, without any stutters, without yeah. any like screen tearing or anything like that. I want my and that, to be smooth, that's like why water. people that's why people buy consoles. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the graphics. Yep. I don't. I don't care if it looks like my fucking skin. I can see every fucking molecule. I don't care about that. Well, oh, you're a Nintendo fanboy. Like. I think that. I think that definitely <laughs> concludes the topic. Uh, definitely, guys, tell tell us how you feel about either one that could be better in comparison. Once we actually have a better idea of what the new console is going to be like for Nintendo coming out, but we can go ahead and leave it there. Uh, Don, you can go ahead and uh, pick us off from uh, Devil May Cry Peak of Combat. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is basically a Devil May Cry trilogy of all the, the past uh, three games and including, including four as well for the mobile. And uh, it actually uh, first initially came out as a beta for in 2021 as like a test run in China for most for the most part. But now this is going to be like a international for i believe this year it's gonna come out um, for the mobile and it it pretty much like uh it's like a fan made kind of thing with from like a chinese developer they also like worked on um this uh what's it called Mega Man on for a mobile as well that's the game they also worked on the company is called um nepo joy or yeah i believe so yeah nepo joy and uh yeah, that's the game they made so far for the mobile. But yeah, this uh, Devil May Cry Combat, it's it's pretty much like a 
a love letter to like the fan base. And also they added like a couple new things to it as well, like uh, new bosses in the game as well. And, and they kind of fixed uh, the story storyline in uh, Devil May Cry 2 to make it more fluent with toward the going to three. Because uh, that was like a big complaint back in the day about um, Devil May Cry 2. A lot of people didn't really like the the second one as yeah. much as they liked the third one. Because uh, pretty much the third one is like the people were mostly, you know, put the third one on a pedestal as like pretty much peak of Devil May Cry out of the whole series. So I, I found it as cool that they went back and rewrote the story for uh, two for like all of them to go pretty much fluently throughout the storyline or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, and also like the, the fact that they like add in like new, uh, boss fights and things like that. So yeah, it's looking pretty cool so far from what I'm seeing in the combat. pretty much the same as like the classic Devil May Cry. Really? Is. really? Like, like it, straight it up looks, same, the same? It, it, it kind of looks the same. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. So no, like mobile gamey type. No, of... it's definitely like hack and slash for sure. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll yeah. probably still buy it. All right. Yeah, it's definitely nice to see the Devil May Cry franchise be brought back. You know what I mean? I'm sure okay. it's gonna have microtransactions. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> of course it will. It's on mobile. <laughs> I sure hope not. It looks like it's more story driven than anything, but it does have an online mode, like a co-op. As well, oh, that's so fine. That that's yeah, fire. they added that to it. And you get to play as like Virgil and all the other main characters. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, that is cool. That is cool. That is cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to make, hopefully, I'll make you pay $15 to play as Blue Dante. So, exactly, you know, they are Blue Dante. It looks, it does, um, this shit looks like uh, Devil May Cry for Switch. <laughs> when, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, does, when does it come out? When does it come out? Uh, they don't have a release date for it yet. It's still like in development. But if you follow, like they have a Discord, like they people test that testing it for the beta. They like, uh, they're pretty much like saying like, uh, you could give like details on like what needs to be fixed or patched up. So that's like the where you can find updates on their Discord. The uh, Devil May Cry Combat. Mm-hmm. Okay, but it's, it's believed to come out this year though. Yeah, it looks. It, look, it does. Um give me some uh you know memories of playing the old uh Devil May Cry. That's Devil that's May what I mean. Like at least it's a we're we able got to... some nostalgia there. Right. That's what I mean. Like it just being able to revisit that. I was a big fanboy of the the franchise. So definitely I would look forward to that. I I'm just an advocate for Devil May Cry. I would like to see more I don't know if uh the way five ended, I don't think there will be another one. I think no, nah, you'd be surprised. Nah, yeah, I only played up to four. I haven't played like the complete five. Games. Yeah, five, sure five was it ended on a good note. I think definitely, I want to see more from Devil May Cry. I know they're they're talking about in talks of making a film and a TV show on that. So, really, yes, there so, was a there was an anime on it. I don't know what happened. It that. yeah, they they kind of just dropped that that I guess that idea, but they only had like ten episodes on the series, but. We're looking to, they're looking to make a TV show and a film from it. So looking forward to that. Yeah, I always like to make cry. Um, well, yeah. thanks, Don. I appreciate that. Uh, going on to the next one, I would like to say multi, uh, multi, multiverse player count has dropped below a thousand concurrent players. Not yeah, surprising. Not yeah, that, was, that was going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of, yeah, I've, I've never seen, I don't know. It's like, I don't know how it was doing. I know it was doing like really good when it first came out last couple. I would have never thought yeah. this shit would have dropped that quick. It's like, Why wouldn't you? Like, I, I, I kind of, I, yeah. I don't know. I, I, thought, really like, liked it. I thought because of the cast alone. I mean, bro, fucking Brawlhalla is still sitting around. Like, what do you think? Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is still sitting around, like. So the I difference is Valhalla is that competitive though. I don't think multiverse is. I played it. It does not feel competitive at all. No. I think it's crappy to me. Definitely child friendly <laughs> for sure. I thought because of the cast alone, it might have some some legs standing for it. But I mean, yeah, you would think it would have, but the cast isn't like gaming known. Like it's known. I mean, why? Right. Gamers yeah. know it, but it's like, come on now. What would you rather play? Let's just for example, Mario fighting fucking Samus or whatever, or Scooby Doo fighting LeBron James. Like, come on now. For me, it would be always Smash Brothers. <laughs> right. 
Yeah. Exactly. So that don't, it don't surprise me that it dropped that low, honestly. I mean, it's free to play. I don't know how the content was looking. How was the content looking? Were they releasing DLC for it at all? Um, like the second week of it. I haven't seen anything really recently that they, they released. They had to take a few things out of it, though, because, I mean, there was a lot of different controversies around, like, you know, with... Okay, okay. Oh, oh yeah, with LeBron. And, yeah, uh, LeBron. With the, <laughs> with the police car. They had to get rid of the police oh, car yeah. and they replaced it with the Mr. Machine. <laughs> yeah. Because he's like, yeah. oh, I, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, because uh, they they pretty much like the people on Twitter was complaining about Velma being like a Karen, and it was like, why is she putting LeBron James inside the police car? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, don't, don't don't you do that to that to anybody though, right? Isn't that like a, a mood to it to everybody? Yeah, right. it's like a default move. I don't know why they took an offense to it, but <laughs> you know how Twitter is. I didn't even know they that was it. 2023. Everybody takes anything to offense. <laughs> <laughs> So what, I, what, 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 how, what would y'all think needed for it to be like to stay alive though I don't I see it staying alive regardless of what happened because like you know the platform um, fighting genre is already too like not niche but like it's it's filled but that's, all, what like, you know but what I mean? that's that's what that's why I was saying like out of curiosity Brahala is is arguably the same thing I mean yeah you mentioned it was competitive but like on a surface level, they all all them shits fight the fucking same. Like there might be different, there might be small, there might be small changes, but the core gameplay is still the same between all of them. Yes. So but- like, I don't get how like this shit is flopping in Brawlhalla. First of all, the art style and graphics are already better on multiverses than it is on Brawlhalla. Yeah, so like I, mean, I don't, just don't understand how it's no. better than Brahal. I don't know how Brahal is. Like, I don't get it. Like how's Brahal is still? <laughs> and I mean, my that shit's by Ubisoft. Like I don't know. Well, Brahal, Brahal has like a, a, a nice flow of content coming into it. It does. I think one we got Finn and Jake. Who else did we get in Brahal? Ryu, Akuma, and Ken and shit like that. So we got Street Fighter so, characters and all that. So do you think? Yeah, it's, I mean, like, but Warner, this shit ain't even been around like that long to even get the opportunity. Like, motherfuckers just gave up on the shit. I mean, I gave up on the shit, too, to be fair. Like, I don't know if I'm either. <laughs> well, <laughs> so I would rather play bro, uh, Ultimate, for sure. I can't. But how do, y'all think, how do y'all think the game plays, though? Like, from a competitive fighting game meta, how does it play, how do y'all think it plays? I don't, it think, plays like I don't think this is really yeah, competitive. Yeah, I, I don't really, it, it don't, I don't really play yeah. Smash Brawlers. Like, let alone to speak on them competitively. I don't even like that. Well, I mean, like, from, from what I've seen, it was like, it was very loose with its combat, and like for fighting game players and you no know, platform fighting players, they don't they don't want that. They want things to be tight, quick, yeah. easy. Not, not to make easy to understand, but they want the depth of the combat to be there. You know how in Street Fighter, you know, it's like, or like, oh, let's just do Smash Bros. Melee. You know how in Melee, how like it seems easy on the surface, but there's so much depth within the, the melee, melee. There's the wave yeah. dash and the L camps and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm. Pretty certain. I haven't played in a minute, but I'm pretty certain in multiverses there isn't like any of that. What you see, what you get. That combat doesn't go anywhere beyond that. You know what I mean? Yeah. For me, yeah, it looks it. it looks pretty slidey. Like it's the, the yeah, combat yeah. is not like fluent. You're like sliding all over the place, and the moves are weird. <laughs> like I'm comparing this to Ultimate. <laughs> like it's it's very different. Like the the, the fight style, I can't. And that's yeah, it. So. And they said they need a bunch of patches for it too recently because there's like a, a lot of bugs in Metaverse as well. So, I mean, that's the thing with fighting game. But fighting game players, like, if they don't see you fixing it immediately, they will leave. I'm kind of surprised Street Fighter Five did as well as it did, given how it came out at first. I'm surprised. So I know, I know they, they were giving Street Fighter Five crap about how it came out at first. I know they was going to tear it into multiverses because I don't got an established, I don't got an established fan base. It's, no. it's it's drawing from it doesn't have an intense fan base. It's pulling from Smash Brothers, Rivals of Ether, um, Brawlhalla. It's pulling from them. To like it's pulling from them and this, to get their fans. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And this it's is their first actual game. Own. The the yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like like it like it doesn't have its own fan base to pull it pull from. It's like oh, we're also platform fighter. Um, give us a try. So you know, it's like it's it's difficult for a new IP to get to get players basically. It's very I difficult. It, I think it really went off the hype of just having like a ultra instinct shaggy, just like the meme culture of, of it. Yeah. That's yeah. what pulled in the audience. <laughs> that that and it being called the Smash Killer, you know, Smash also isn't that good. 
from a gameplay standpoint, that's just me. I, I'm a competitive Smash player, but I don't like all Smash at all. So we had that type of, oh, this will be the Smash killer. Look at look at this Smash <laughs> player. We could do combos. And you can. Yeah. Like, uh, stuff like that. So I was, the hype was too big for it, for its own good. Honestly, mm-hmm. and that's, that's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it. it I, I guess it, it, for its time, I guess, like, you know, it had a, such a short time span because what it just came out like what last summer was it last summer or two thousand twenty one? Yeah, last summer, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. About that. It died real quick. It died real quick. Yeah. So I guess it was fun while it lasted, but hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but going on to the next one, we got IGN's top twenty five anime list. I Just think at this list right now. Let's see where they fucked up at. Yeah. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to. Die. I'm probably gonna rip into this one for sure. They, they put fucking Full, Full Metal Alchemist first. Oh no no no! That that that's up there. That's up there. Not number one. Listen, it definitely deserves to be on the list for sure. I don't know yeah. about number one. Yeah, number one. It definitely deserves the list. I'm just saying not oh, number on. one. These assholes put Trigun at 24? Oh, no. What is this? <laughs> Dragon Ball Z at 23? Right. Dragon Ball oh. Z is crazy. Guys, that guys, is crazy. crazy. Guys, you got to remember, this is IGN we're talking about. The worst fucking know, review company ever. Bro, listen. Uh, call, listen, say, bro, bro, listen. Say what you want. I'm happy My Hero's up here. My Hero gets a lot of flack. I don't go for where it's placed, but I'm happy My Hero's up here. Above Dragon Ball, though. Above Dragon Ball Z, though. That's, that's Wait, it's, ab- it's above Dragon Ball? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I mean, Demon Slayer was up here. It's only one above, one above Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah, don't Demon Slayer is above me. that, too. That's crazy. I don't know Bro, why Demon Slayer is that high. Demon Slayer is not even that good. Bro, it's it's really really good. Good. You just wouldn't exist. Whoa, nah, bro, is I'm, fire. Gonna, hold up, hold up. I'm not gonna lie, bro. To... I'm a little offended. Naruto is over Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Fuck yeah. out of here, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, I want to go, go through each of them and like agree or disagree about am I, am I Ab- placement. I want to do absolutely. that. Bro. All right, so the first one is 25. I can't pronounce this. Hi, you Yeah, hi, Q. You. Have anyone seen that? Ah, uh, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. That shouldn't even be on the list. That's a sports anime. Yo, bro, if the Yu Yu Hakusho yeah. show isn't on here, bro, it that's is, crazy is, that they is, put that is, on there, bro. Is, uh, so try like, again y'all could have gave it to Yu Yu Yasha at least, bro. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, right. Try at 24. Too low, from, in my opinion. Try Yu Yu Hakusho is high, number nine. Me. Uh, Dragon Ball Z 23. So that's, that's crazy. Again, they that already should be, be that, that, bro. That should that's be at, crazy. That should be like number number two, top bro. three at least. Yeah. Like, bro, that's wild. But, but, bro. But what, the, what, the, what, the, what the comments are saying, they're talking about it's not particularly deep. So you know how the list is going to go from here. They want story. And not that Dragon Ball Z doesn't have a story. Dragon Ball Z does have a story. It's more Let's fighting. be real. There's more fighting and the plot, the plot holes are numerous in that series. But again, bro. 23. It's Dragon Ball so Z, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it does have something so iconic. Nah, I don't think it's going to be 23. That's definitely IGN. Then that's My Hero Academia, wild, 22 for My Hero Academia. I argue mean, that shouldn't even be on the list. That's just me. Nah, fuck it. Uh, my no, My Hero no. definitely on the list. Yeah. My Hero is definitely on the list. I never, I, 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 hold I, on, hold on. We can't, bet, nah, bro. I we can't bet. put Demon Slayer on the list and not my, have My Hero on No, the well, list. Demon Slayer oh, shouldn't even be on the list. No. That's, that's, I agree. Not, Demon Slayer should be on the list, just not as high. No okay. Fair enough. Okay, all right. How about we put Demon Slayer twenty five with that fucking whatever that basketball <laughs> shit was? Yeah, with that's that, fair. Yeah, bro, is Tokyo shit. Ghoul on this list? Bro, I'm about, uh, about to see. Uh, twelve. Well, twenty one is Made in Abyss. Has anyone heard of that one? Nope. Made in Abyss. No, oh, yeah. No, that's, that's actually pretty good. That should be higher. Like that's oh, more that's story than Okay, I heard of it. I never got here to watch it yet. That's all. Then number twenty. You got this stupid bullshit JoJo Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> that shit, that, I think I think that I think that one should be over Naruto for sure. Nah, bro, that shit shouldn't even be on the list, bro. Yeah. Uh, JoJo, 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 JoJo's pretty bad. Yeah, not terrible. 
Take JoJo off, bro. Yeah, what? Well, JoJo's like <laughs> classic. <laughs> the Naruto got Poo revived Poo in the 90s. Naruto Poo Poo in above Dragon Ball Z? I just this don't know how to feel about it. Crazy. Crazy. Naruto should be third. Yeah, I mean, I mean, wow, like, bro. Not stupid, like, then. Yeah, not Shippuden. Not Shippuden. Not Shippuden, man. Not Shippuden. The, the original Naruto is better than Shippuden. Yeah, I like Shippuden better than, than the original. What? All that, all that bullshit that's definitely Moon God, Jesus, Space <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Uh, what? I was about to say, like, they, they turned into gods pretty much in the Shippuden. Like, they couldn't yeah. die. I'm like, yo, this one, oh my god, no, this yeah, is not. This one pisses me off the most. Is, they put Death Note at 18. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Well, that should be crazy. that should be 20, 23, all the way up there. Well, uh, nah, Death Note should be higher than that. That's yeah, crazy. Death Note should be higher than that. Death Note should be higher than that. Death Note should be higher than way higher than that. Put it yeah, 24, wild, right, right, right after a fucking, uh, uh, was it Demon Slayer? Nah, oh, Death Note? Are you serious? Yeah, I don't like Death <laughs> Note, man. Whoa! Demon Slayer oh, should be below the Death Note. Okay. Yo, bro, you know what's funny? If Alex was here, he'd be like, all the kids deserve to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he don't watch anime. That's the thing. <laughs> then they have Attack on Titan at 17. Which That's I don't crazy, mind. too. Like, I don't yeah, mind, I don't mind that one there. there. Yeah. I don't mind it being there, but it's not ahead of Death Note. That's just me. It's not ahead of Death oh, Note. I don't know. I think that you put that in number two. I think Attack on Titan is ahead of Death Note. I didn't like Death Note. What? Well, no. Wow. You no, know, Attack on Titan should be like at least a five or six. I, yeah, I, I, I was going to say at least yeah. a five. I, 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 say, I say a three. Yeah. I say a three. It's okay where it's at. It's okay where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about a five. Like, what? <laughs> then they got this. Then we got this slice of life bullshit. Not on that. Nope. A nah, Ryan high nah. school host club, like what is this? A bunch of a bunch of school age boys being put on by girls. Like, like what is? This, this? I don't know what this even is. Replace this one with Sailor Moon. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> then we got. I never, I never even seen this one. Devil May Cry Baby. Has anyone seen that? This one's nah, oh yeah, Devil May Cry Baby. Yeah, that's whoa, just whoa, fine. Whoa, whoa. Just why, fire. why didn't they put a? Oh wait, this is all time. That's why I was gonna say they should put Chainsaw Man up here. Oh, yeah, Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man definitely deserves to be up there. At least right, time. So I mean, in, what happened to Dora and Dora? All right, here's my problem with the list. Here's my problem with the list. Yeah, they talk about they, they want to talk about stories and all that stuff. Then they then they bring up oh record breaking stuff. I mean, like, like I just say choose which one they're going to like judge the list off of because like Demon Slayer's story really is like garbage. And it's yeah. like number fourteen. It it's number fourteen. Yeah. Are you serious? That's crazy, Demon Slayer. No, I know why. Because the, the visuals look all uh, yeah, pretty, yeah, the pretty colors go burr. So you know how that is. Like, <laughs> yeah, because episode sixteen and seventeen, like exactly. On. And then they're gonna do my they're gonna do my man Lelouch dirty. Kogi has to be ahead of thirteen. Man. <laughs> you know, Kogi is fucking amazing. It should be top 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 eight at least. Top eight at least. Top eight at least. Has nah. anyone seen Kogi? Has anyone nah. seen that? No. What? Oh, I see like, like a couple episodes. It's similar oh, to yeah. Death Mood in a kind of way, like the main yeah, character. It is, it is, it is. It is. I'm saying, like, I think like, that should be higher. Like, these, right. and, it's, it's made the stories in it, it's an anime, but I think Cole Geass' writing is like a step above most anime, but to put it on 13, like whatever. Then they're going to have Samurai Shampoo. The legendary Samurai Shampoo yeah, at no, 12. No. Wasn't that at shit, 12. Wasn't, wasn't that shit on Tsunami? Yes! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah seen Samurai Shampoo. Shampoo is a classic. Yes, that's I've amazing. Seen a, yeah, I've seen a couple episodes. That one was good. And they got it at 12? Dude, what? whatever. Suck my dick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that shit at least be number six. Wait, come on now. Then they got another one at number 11 called, I'm saying this right, Bacano. Bacano is B-A-C-C-A-N-O. Bacano. Yeah, Has anyone heard that one? Nah. nah that's no one. I, I don't know that one. Know. I haven't seen it. Can't judge on that one. We don't know what that one is. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it ain't that damn good. So whatever. But maybe I'll watch it later. Who knows? Then we have, I mean, oh, this is pretty good. It's, but it's number 10. Cold, 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 cold. Yeah, uh, it's, it's B-A-C-C-A-N-L. Cold, cold. Cold. But, yeah, but, but um, it's, Fully Cooley for number 10. Oh, Fully Cooley so, up there? Yeah, yeah that's I agree. Really that that's a little good. high, bro. <laughs> that's a little high. It's good for a comedy, though. Like a comedy anime, that's pretty good. Uh, the, I love the soundtrack. It's amazing. That I, I go. I'm a, I'm a fanboy for Fully Cooley, so I probably would 
we'll put it high just for the sale trade. So I'm not too, you shouldn't listen to me too much on that. But I yeah, pillows, they, they fire. Yeah, like they're, they're fire. Okay, all right. Okay, I agree with this one. You, you have to have show number nine. Stay there. That's a good spot. Yeah, it could stay there. That's a good spot. You have to show number nine is a good spot. I, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm not cool with Neon just Eamon Gallon being eight. That should be a little bit higher. Okay? I love Eamon Gallon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that should, that be, should be a little two. bit higher. That should yeah, be at least number Yeah. Like, what? Like, whatever. Okay, mm. then we got the... I'm sorry. It's, all right. Number seven is Hunter X Hunter. So is Hunter X Hunter completed yet? Like, is it even done yet? It was like, hmm. <laughs> it, it's long as shit, bro. It is so really. Like, like, they have an anime that's not even like, is it even back in serialization? Is like, is it being made again? The yeah. manga just recently came back, but like, the okay. anime didn't come back yet. Okay. Wait, so, all right. So, Okay, so that's they got an anime that's not even like fully done or even close to done on here, but whatever. All right, sure, I guess. Then they got all that. Then they went ahead and narrowed for at number six, Mob Psycho. Where's one punch man at? God damn it. No, <laughs> Mob's my shit. Like that. <laughs> Mob is fire. Mob yeah, is remember, fire. One punch man is a parody. <laughs> I, I don't know. No. no. It is. Oh my God. You waiting for season three, Aaron? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I do. Read, I already read the manga, though. so Mob is already amazing. Read, yeah, I already read the manga. So I know what happened, but so I still want to see it animated. But I guess Mob Psycho number six. Uh, who who made this normie ass list? So yeah, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> um, now, how you made no Epo is really good. I agree. It should at least be in top ten. Maybe not five. But top ten at least. How you made no Epo? The boxing anime. Has anyone seen that? Nah. Nah. No. Oh, okay. I know it's a classic uh, though. It's one of yeah. the best uh, uh, sports animes, I'll say that. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, then there's number four, it's Monster. I never heard of Monster. Has anyone played Heavenly One Heard Monster? Oh, I just started that because it just came on Netflix recently. It's pretty good. It's like a mystery uh, detective kind of anime. Okay, all right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mid piece at number three. Mid piece <laughs> at number three. <laughs> They put the yo, why do they look oh, long, oh, bro? They look no, long as no, shit. No. Like, like that shit over Dragon Ball Z is killing me inside. Yeah, I just, <laughs> like, what I didn't know how tall, bro. I didn't know how tall the characters look. They look big as shit. <laughs> 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 like, no, 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 no. They put One Piece. Has, hey, has, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna y'all watch One Piece before, right? Y'all watched it before, right? <laughs> in the gang. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I posted that in the group chat. Take a look at it if you get a chance, because that's yeah. the reason why it should not be number three. That's the reason why it should not be number three. Everything is about not- it, everything about it, means it should not be a number three. It shouldn't be in number. Yeah. Three. Yes. A thousand what? episodes. That's crazy. Yo, bro, the fact that Bleach isn't even on the list is crazy. Yeah, that's bro. crazy. <laughs> that's bro. Bleach ain't even on the list. That's bro, you know what I mean? Numbers he broke uh, last year. <laughs> Joe, the, Joe the, ne- the next one looks fire, though. Next one is fire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Cowboy Bebop is definitely fire. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, that's cool. yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. Cowboy yeah. Bebop yeah. not yeah. number two, though. Not number two. Yeah. Yeah. It is good. Yeah. 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 I say at least number three. Yeah. Number Cowboy. three. Top five. Number five. Top, top, five. Number top five. Top five. Top five. Because, bro, this shit only had one season, and when it was just like... Oh, all the episodes were better than that out of here. I was like, oh, yeah, one season. You want to see them ruin the characters. That's what you want to see, man. Listen. Don't you? Cow- don't no, you listen. Go bro, ahead, go, cow- ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Cowboy Bebop deserves it. I'm not saying it doesn't. It's amazing. But what I'm just saying is, like, if you look at everything else compared to content-wise, like, the shit just, like, come on. It, like, it doesn't belong number two. For sure. hey, number two is just crazy, let me, bro. let me ask you this, man. Let me ask you this, Wilkin. Before you move, let me ask you this. What's the worst Dragon Ball arc? What's the worst Dragon Ball Z arc? What's the worst one? GT. I would say. No, no, I mean Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Not GT, just Dragon Ball Z. What's the worst For one? For me personally, the worst one was probably the Androids. I hate wow. the Androids too. Oh, I hate wow. the Androids. I, like I hated the Androids. Damn. Nah, I hated the Androids. Not the Androids Majin Buu? Nah, I actually uh, liked the Majin, Majin Buu fight. Buu. Nah, yeah, Majin, Majin Buu was fire. Nah, Majin Buu was tough. It was the Androids. Oh, oh, Android 19 God. and eight and 17 and, and you Wait, know, whoa, whoa, but you, you got to remember Cell was part of that. Cell is dope. Yeah, nah, Cell, Cell was... Bad. Nah, but Cell had his own saga though. That no, was, he was the android was, saga. He's an nah, android. It, it was, it was, it was the android little pre saga, and then you had the Cell tournament saga in by itself. 
Like, that yeah, shit was I don't, like, want to like, mind you, like, but, Go, but if, like Gohan Super Saiyan Two wasn't even mentioned with androids prior until Cell. It wasn't. It wasn't. So like wasn't. the that's Cell true. arc, that's completely different. Like, I'm yeah, he's an android, Cell but like, I mean, but this, I, yeah, Cell arc was my crazy. thing is, you don't, you don't if it, if it's able to tell its entire story through the the span of twenty five episodes and I end it, then let it be. But like, you don't want to get it like. You don't want to have it like now towards you, Putin, when you start to hate the characters that the show go on because they start making dumb right. decisions writing wise. That's why I thought this deserved to be number. Not number, number, number one. Like, listen, the Cowboy Bebop definitely deserves it. I'm not saying it doesn't, but like again, like to pick this shit over Dragon Ball Z is just crazy, bro. Nah, yeah, I'm whoa, saying, whoa, whoa, like, whoa, whoa. This, this might be controversial, wild. but I'm gonna say Cowboy Bebop has a better story than Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. <laughs> like, We're talking bro, about no. bounty hunters, space bounty hunters, just collecting bro, bounties. You know, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like Spiegel? Bro. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, yeah, every character has their own character arc, though. Every bro, character has their own character arc. In Dragon Ball Z, they don't? Like, they you don't, know what I mean? Dragon don't. Ball Z they character? Don't. They so don't. Trunks, they don't. Hold on. They don't. Trunks, oh, I'm going, <laughs> Trunks doesn't have his own line? What are we talking um, about? Bro, he oh, carried oh, the whole super oh, arc. Oh, 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 I'm off you. I'm not going to Only Trunks, only Vegeta, and only Piccolo. Oh, the three niggas. Gohan, Gohan in the Great Saiyan, he didn't have his own arc? What are we he talking did, about? He did have his own arc. No, no. What? That, that whole Super Saiyan 2 thing was contrived and made up at all both. Oh, are you, are you really the think, bro, Did you really say Dragon Ball Z don't have character development in, like, what? Bro, bro, what are we talking about? But, 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 but Cowboy Bebop allows all of his characters to shine. This nigga it's totally It's a cast of four people with a dog. <laughs> it's not that many people. <laughs> you, bro, you got Spike, you got Jet Black, you got Faye Valentine, and mine. <laughs> first of all, it's not hard like, to display the characters on there. Dude, it's, de- it's definitely over. It's definitely bro, over. Bro, bro the it's first definitely- season of Dragon Ball, you know how many characters they had to introduce in Dragon Ball Z? Right. And every one of those characters hit between Piccolo, Raditz, Krillin, Tien, everybody. But they all know. To this day, day, they're still fucking developing fucking Gohan and Piccolo in this new fucking movie that just came out. And now they're training fucking Broly to come out. And then you got Broly coming back. Yo, bro. Come on, man. I got, bro, I I got, bro, I got Yamcha, Dick, and Spike Spiegel, bro. No shit. Bro, you can even argue. Bro, you can even argue that Krillin has a more compelling story than Spike Spiegel. Bro, you No, bro. We're not about to talk about bro. We're not about to talk about how Krillin went from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z. And to how he ended in Dragon Ball Super, the character progression with Krillin is crazy. You know how many defining moments he had in there where he was so pivotal? Come oh, on, bro. Man. Like, let's not throw that into the bag. Let, 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 let me count it there. Let's let me count it down. Bro. Fall, fall, fall in love with a damn machine that he didn't talk to at all, by the way. So bro, you, you bro, bro, see, nah, bro, we're not about to do that. Like, we all, <laughs> let's not act like, bro, like, let, let's not act like we all did not have a crush on Android 18 at some point. Yeah, like, let's not act like we have not done that before. Come on now. Everyone, like, come on. Like, it's Android 18 is the female for Dragon Ball Z. Let's come on. I thought it was, like, I thought it was, Bulma. Bulma. I thought it would be Krillin Bulma. Is the f- I thought like, it was Bulma too. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's Save Valentine. Prove, prove, prove your point. Prove your point. What did Krillin do a mirror in the Android arc? What did he do in the Android arc? What did he do? In the Android arc, he got everybody fucked up. And, but I mean, he low-key <laughs> tried to save the Android. He saved the Android 18. Bro, what, he to do? Uh, what did he do? What did he do in Majin Buu? What did he do in the Majin Buu arc? What did he do? Die, he right? Grew, he much. grew hair. He became a cop. He grew hair. He had a kid. Oh, That's character development, right? Exactly. Oh, like, 
He's like, oh, now, 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 to now, now, hold, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. You're telling me Spike Spiegel, who, don't get me wrong, this coolest motherfucker on the planet, where has he progressed outside of being Ooh. in love with fucking Julian? From the first <laughs> episode <laughs> and to the end of that damn season, how has he progressed? I'm not saying he's the deepest character in the show, but oh, he's definitely. Oh, now, oh, here, oh, no, 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 he's not deep development. But come on, put it. I like 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 it. You didn't have to say that. That's obvious. Like, the Yamcha's <laughs> arguably a planet buster at this point. Like, he's beyond nah, bro, most listen, of the anime. Listen, bro, I love Cowboy Bebop, bro. Like, dude, there's no disrespect to that anime. But, like, for it to be number two, bro, that's crazy. Nah. But it's off a of story, though, man. Dragon Ball, like... But the sto- story. what was so great about the story in Cowboy Bebop? They, they were the literally just bounty hunters, had a bunch of plot holes. Yeah, yeah filler. A bunch of a bunch of filler episodes. That's like the main uh gripe with like Sean and yeah, Anime. Man. That's where it came from with Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. Bebop could have had Bebop. the same thing if it had a longer lifespan. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Man. What's the most defining yeah. simple? What's the most defining moment in Dragon Ball Z for you, my man? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a hole in it. What's the most remember, defining remember, moment? He's, he's saying, bro, Z, there's Z. so many. Like it's so hard. Let's pick one. Let's pick one. Let's pick one. Um, fuck. I don't know. Uh, that means, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe when Goku won Super Saiyan for the first time. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. That's one of the best moments. That's one of the best moments. I don't got a problem when with he, that. I, that, I, would say, I would say one of the best moments for me, real quick, would be when uh, fucking Gohan destroyed Cell. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay. I would say that Super Saiyan 3. That it's too many moments, bro. Thing, that whole thing is so made up. He could not artificially get to that moment. He had to. Somehow care about an android who was created to kill his father. He didn't even have a conversation with Android 16. Why is that trailer in anything for you, kid? What all do you right, mean? Right. Now, Aaron, let me uh, ask you this. What's the most compelling moment in Cowboy Bebop? Name any moment in Co- name any moment in Cowboy Bebop that was better than any of those moments we mentioned in Dragon Ball Z. When it's they, not possible. Uh, it's uh, not uh, possible. Uh, Please don't they, uh, let him finish. They, they, they what she want? Do. But she, but she must be a dude from my past. Was she the one that got killed in the church? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Come on, bro. What are we talking about? Come here. Come here. Come here. But she met the dude from the past. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. When she met the dude from the past who knew about yeah. her past. Some yeah. shit like that. That's uh, one of the best moments. That's a very compelling moment. Me, but in Dragon yeah. Ball... Yeah, they find time. Let me, let me ask you something, Mayor. Have you ever seen any uh, a group of people like a like a fucking almost like a stadium sized group of people fucking gather just to watch fucking Cowboy Bebop? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, not as much as 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 I've seen shit. For I seen a, a ton of people get ready. Oh to no, watch yeah, exactly. Yeah, to your point, fucking, like just to watch one episode of fucking Dragon Ball Z. Are you kidding me? Yeah, absolutely, uh-huh. exactly, yeah. All right, all right, so by that logic, by that logic, Call of Duty should throw every shooter alive. That's not true. Not true. <laughs> I mean, right? But no, but you talk about the, the top about oh, this, this, That's not true. Like that. well, well, actually, low-key, low-key, you can argue that, Duty. though. You can argue Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty, in terms of first-person shooters, it you probably has the most... Bullshit. Yeah, you can. The reason why you can argue is because Call of Duty, whether you like the campaign or not, they have some of the most controversial and rememberable storylines out of all first person shooters. They they do. Yeah. Like bro, most Call of Duty missions. Bro, bro, Good most call bro. Bro, we going off topic, guys. Bro, going off topic. Hold on. Yo, bro, the, the 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 Russian mission in Modern Warfare 2 alone is arguably better than any single player campaign first person shooter ever. Anything oh, in Halo, nothing in oh. Halo is really is, re- is rememberable. Okay. So like, like, Stop. I'll give you that, but <laughs> come on, but the, but but come on, Dragon Ball. We already know what number one is. Number one is four year alchemist. So and I mean, that's bullshit to too, bro. That's not bullshit. No, wrong. for Dra- bro. Wrong. For Dragon Ball, wrong. bro. No, nope, nope, bro. What do you mean, no? Nope. Dragon Ball's first, man. But but I, are you like the bro, yes, I, 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 no? Listen, listen, no, because I know what you're about to say. Nobody's trying to be mainstream and just be all stoning. You just gotta understand, bro. Dragon Ball Z is like the god tier. Like, no, I, I, I agree like, with you. Dragon I Ball agree. Z is like, like it's very hard to out accomplish Dragon Ball Z. 
in terms of oh, it character is, it development. Is, it is. Like you can listen, you oh, can no, argue, no, you no, can no, argue no, about no, no, you no, can no. argue about oh, this has a better story, or oh, I just thought this part was better. But as an overall package, bro, everything together in terms of characters, story arcs, influence, Dragon Ball. I'm not saying Dragon Ball Z should be number one. You can argue that. I think it should be in the top three for sure. But like to yeah, just say okay, that, bro, okay. Full Metal is great. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's I love no, nah, bro. That's my full shit, Met- bro. That's my the shit, episode bro. with the when the one when the girl got transformed into the dog is one of the most saddest moments I've ever fucking Yo, seen. That, I episode. just told Don that I said I never seen that shit in the I anime. I cried before. to that, bro. That Yo, episode is so fucking that shit it's the was crazy. Crazy episode ever. Episode four. But you can argue there's Dragon Ball moments that are even greater. Remember when Gohan died with Trunks there? He died on the ground in the rain when the androids killed him. That was mm-hmm. arguably even more worse than the 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 full metal. I mean, to the same. Yeah, that, to the yeah, same. That, that's, a, that's an anime special, so let's keep it to actual nah, main bro, series. No, bro, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, but check this out. It, and when that happens, though, the way the thing that Dragon Balls lose me on is because they bring the characters back to life, so it loses the impact when he dies. Like, what's the point? It, there's no not, stakes on the line. But, but that moment specifically don't count because he's dead. That go yeah, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Dead. He's dead. That, dead. That, that, mind you, dead, dead, mind dead. you, and that, that no, that he doesn't because that's canon. Because mind you, in Dragon Ball Super, that's Trunks' universe. He's still dead. That yeah. Gohan is dead yeah, forever dead. in yep. that universe. Yep. So he that hit, like, mind you, Trunks said it himself, he can't beat them without Gohan being there. But I, I get, I get what you're saying. Like, they do do that all the time. You know, uh, Krillin died how many times? Yeah, <laughs> Goku you died. I mean? Like, like hello, yeah. Awesome. The but, of the cast, they all come back. <laughs> but the difference though is like Dragon Ball explains that up front though. Like they a show it. like Full Metal, and honestly, uh, Full, Full Metal would, doesn't they, explain something like that. It'd be crazy if we just see somebody die. And then three seasons later, they just come back. Like that's different. Guy. Like and that's not episode, really. Expected. They come back. To life. I will say that if you are, uh, if, like, if you were to like look at Dragon Ball, um, I'm gonna go ahead. And, over. Real, real, quick, yeah, real quick, I'm right. gonna go ahead and say, uh, I I only agree with one on this list, and I'm I'm actually yeah. happy with number one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hold on, it's, number one is Brotherhood, though, right? That's it's my cool shit. Yep. Yeah, right, real, quick, real quick, Nick. So your number one is uh, is Brotherhood. Correct. So Don, what's what's your number one? I say Evangelion, Neon Genesis, Evangelion. That <laughs> okay. that probably be my number one. What's yours, Mir? Call me crazy, bro. I'm, I'm going. I'm going my hero. I'm taking my hero. You're okay. insane. I'm taking and, my hero. <laughs> Aaron, what's, what's your number one? <laughs> Oh, Death Note easily. Yeah, Death Note. Death Note. <laughs> okay, Death Note. Mine is Death Dragon Note. Ball Z. Well, no, okay. mine is Dragon Ball Super. I like the Super. Bro, oh, oh, nah, bro, you lost me there. 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 You lost us with all that <laughs> 17 catching up the Super Saiyan Blue by training on a, or a farm or some shit like that. You lost me there. <laughs> To make Yo, it to make it feel better for you guys, just the whole series in general. I just love fucking Dragon Ball Z. Okay, all right. Nah, all Dragon right. Ball's good. Yeah. Dragon Ball's good. Just just Dragon Ball that in general. G- I wouldn't say GT and, too much, but but uh Z so, um and super for sure. So the best way to to really get a a, a, a grip on this uh topic, I would say what are everything's the top- all subjective? I was gonna, yeah, and, that that too. Love, but I'm saying everyone loves Cowboy Bebop. But I'm saying, like, yeah. what order of top five would you put this order in? Or what? Oh, yeah. What are some of them? What are some animes that should be in this list? Bleach Full Metal deserves to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't remember the Full Metal deserves to be there. Um, what, what is anyone missing? Is anyone uh, missing? I, I I don't know why Bleach is missing. That's just me. Yeah, Bleach should be in there. I didn't I didn't personally start Bleach, but I mean I'm I'm hearing it's really fucking good. And then not only that, they're missing classic Wait, Naruto. Did, did, did any of you classic guys like Naruto? Did, did any of you guys right. like uh fucking Inuyasha? Yeah, and Inuyasha yeah. deserves to be on. It's yeah, a love be, anime, be but it, 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 it is be on there. The, the bottom of the list, like maybe top fifteen. But what what about top five? Like, go ahead, Mary. Like, what would you what would you think? Like, top your top five should be. Um, Full Metal deserves to be there. Uh, uh, no specific order, just your top five. Yeah. Shit, what's the other one called? Uh, damn, it's hard. Um, all right. So my number one is gonna be My Hero, but then Cowboy Bebop, uh, Full Metal, Dragon Ball, and then probably Attack on Titan. 
Cool. Okay. I'll Sorry. go. I'll go next. Um, so for mine, it's definitely gonna be Full Metal because that shit is amazing. Um, two is gonna be Berserk. Should be up there. Whoa, oh, yeah, man, Berserk should be on the here. list. Yeah, that's true. Um, oh. Don, like me and you, man, like Berserk ain't no, like, look, bro, that shit is yeah, crazy. That shit, that should have definitely been on the list. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Um, Berserk, uh, three is gonna be uh, My Hero for sure, because My Hero is fire shit. Um, four for me is gonna be Mob Psycho. Yeah. And then five for me is probably gonna be Dragon Ball, yeah. Cause like, if you're talking about like history and shit, like yeah, this this we've been following this series for a long time. Like, yeah, so. Dragon Ball got the best influence out of all. Yeah, it does, it does, it so does, that's why I'm saying I would I would definitely just put that on my top five because it do or it does de- it deserve the respect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Um, Danny. Yeah, I, I I'm gonna be a fucking loser on this one, but <laughs> tra- dra- dra- Dragon Ball Naruto Shippuden. Um, Cowboy Bebop. I'm gonna say I'm gonna throw Bleach in there because Bleach was hot. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The last one's gonna be a hard one for my top five. Uh, I'm gonna say Attack on Titan. Okay. I'm gonna throw that in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, for me, uh, no, no particular order. I will say my number one will be Death Note, regardless. But no particular order. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, Death Note, um, <laughs> Samurai Champloo, Dragon Ball Z, Code Geass, and then um, Death. I always said Death Note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, what's not on there for some odd reason, but One Punch Man. That's that's me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I don't Remember, know why One Punch Man. This is for all time, though. One Punch Man. All time. You know, One Punch Man. Definitely is all time. Oh, I'm sorry. And nah. your anime may probably stuff the way that it does. Nah. Okay. I would say Mob Psycho. Uh, let me see. Oh. Uh, Tech on Tyan. Then Cabo Biba. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, Berserk was on here. I would put Berserk, but <laughs> I guess <the> Berserk. <laughs> shit. I'll put, mm, uh, put Fully Cluey on there. And then I'll put. Let me see. Oh, oh yeah, and um, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yeah, but it's my first. Let's go. Shake. I think they're, they're, this list is definitely fucked up, though. See, like just looking, <laughs> just just <laughs> look, <laughs> just <laughs> looking at this list is definitely gonna stir up a, a a really spicy conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like that's this like any anybody Yo. who really is a fan fan of anime, they definitely gonna be like, this is bullshit. Yeah, Bro, I, I, can, I can also you know, hear. I can hear the people like listening. I can hear y'all yelling already at us. <laughs> like, no, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> yeah, all the Bro. One Piece fans, they're gonna be enraged. Okay, they're gonna be heated. So, imagine all yeah. the imagine all the Jujutsu Kaisen fans. Yeah, that 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 oh, has nah, a real. <laughs> yo, one I wasn't on yo, bro. The only per- the only people who can mess this list up worse than IGN is Watch Mojo. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. watch yeah. Oh my god, that shit is terrible. Mm-hmm. Watch Bojo get it wrong every time. Man. And then, and then when they give their their details on why they chose this, <laughs> they, it just be like, what? Yeah, huh? Right. Like, <laughs> like, they don't put Goku versus Jiren as number one Dragon Ball. Fight. Like, <laughs> right, like right. Oh my god. Oh shit! But. All right, that kind of wraps up the IGN top twenty-five anime list of all time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that one. Um, share share with us your thoughts on what should have been on the list. Obviously, you, if you don't agree with uh, IGN's list, let us know in the comments. We definitely want to know what your thoughts on that would be. Um, we can go ahead and move on to our last one, which I mean, it's it's really it's really going to be tight to talk about this, man. It's going to be fun. Um, remembering uh, midnight releases and could they ever come back? Um, let me tell you, I'll be the one to start. I remember midnight releases because we had to actually grind to go. This was before the internet was really popularized, right? Like I and I wouldn't say in, internet in general, but because it's they, 
they, into millennials and before. Thing. Correct. Because Genuine we didn't have, <laughs> we didn't have, and I, I'm not even entirely sure, and I'd said this off the air to Don, I'm not entirely sure when we started to be able to pre-order um, a game through the, the PlayStation Store or the Xbox Store. That may have been out since probably the Xbox 360 days and the PS3. That's probably when that started because that's when the yeah, online, I, so. the on, I mean, well, the, the older... Like PS2, the older Xbox, and like all the older consoles, they did have it online, but we didn't know about it. I didn't know about that <clears throat> going, you know, going back to it. But when we weren't able to to really pre-order games like that, we had to actually go out there, wait until fucking we had to be there by nine o'clock before GameStop yep. ever actually opened yep. the door. Did not matter what what uh what weather was it? Was it freezing cold or you had to go to the bathroom? Because mind you, you're far as hell. Like mind you, we were young and we didn't have cars. So we had to actually travel by bike, tra- public transportation, or just walking. You know what I mean? So that's why I mean I'd like, like I'd be like, Mom, you ready to take me? To yeah, that? that's what I mean. You like you, game coming out, you gotta take me, right? Right. And then the, and then and then it's like when you get up to the uh when you actually get in the store, you they, they you can't really shop around, right? Because you can't leave your you can't leave the line. You can't, leave your spot. you can't leave the line. And then once you get up there, you you know, the guy that that's taking your uh, you know, you you let them know your name, you and don't lose that receipt, because if you lost that receipt, it's over. Nope. It's over. So when you get to the, you know, you let him know, he's like, all right, you know, he gives you your, you, you just, the the reaction you get when you get the game in your hands. You know what I mean? Like, it was just so fulfilling at that time. And that's what I mean. Like, it, it was, it was so amazing to really get that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know most kids nowadays or anybody that's just spoiled from the experience of having you know, being able to just sit at home and just wait till 12 or even nowadays where we're getting early access. We didn't have any of that growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like we just had to actually wait until 12. Then then when we get home, when we get home, we install it. It would take fucking hours because it wouldn't it wasn't really that powerful. Those consoles were not powerful enough for some of the games and it would just take hours for it to install sometimes. Um, But Besides that part, I mean, it's it was cool. Is it? It was a cool experience, right? Because you get to actually interact with other gamers out there. That's the I think that's the most important part, right? Like when you go there, you go to the midnight release, you meet a lot of different people. They're all waiting for the game. They start talking shit on it. They say, "Oh man, I mean, I'm I'm hoping that this is a next step up, like the God of War two or God of War one, GTA." You know, GTA 5, because, you know, GTA 5 was very memorable for me and Mir because mm. we, we had in the, what, when did that come out? I think it was in the blizzarding cold. We had to actually walk all the way to GameStop and actually get it that. It was September 2013. And it was freezing, right? It was it was very cold. cold. Shit. It was very cold that day. <laughs> and um and it was so, the line was so long that it was going around the damn building. Yeah, so we, we do got some fucked up occasions where... We do wait for a game that we're we're excited for, and then we get do get the game, and we fucking go home, install it, and everything. We're like, we play the game, and then you think back, like, damn, I, re- I really waited till twelve for this. Yeah, it's sometimes, but it, they, they, it, they, it that was rare though. That, yeah, that was really it, that it, was it, really it was rare, a rare. One because of, even, one out of a million chance that that shit would happen, but it did happen to me once. <laughs> oh, but that's what I mean. Like when you get it, it's like that would be really rare because once you when you get into it, like Max Payne three and stuff like that, like these games, oh my God. right, bro? Like we. When we when we finally got into the game, we were up to like three in the morning, knowing you had to be at school. Oh yeah, like we, eight. we definitely broke night. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like it's just it, it was so fun. I mean, we still can do those things, but it's like I said, like these these kids, like the the younger millennial uh, millennial kids would really not understand. They're like, oh well, why do why go back to those times? I mean, isn't it so much better for you to just sit at home and not do shit, right? Like. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, it's the fact that you get to interact with others. You know what I mean? You get to actually get that still experience of what it's like to actually wait for shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, and I know, like I said, that might be like, you know, I, I might not be on the, the hitting the nail with that one because most people would be like, oh, well, I just that that doesn't make any sense. Like, at least we you you know, we were given shit five, three days later. Um, so that way we don't have to wait for that long. But. Like I said, man, it's to see where it was like coming from that to this. I think it's 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 definitely a, a different experience. But we can also go back and, and and appreciate the times that what we had to do, right? Like that's the most important thing, yeah. right? So that's for me. I I would like to say like I would they ever could they ever come back? 
Probably not because obviously yeah, I would I would agree with that. Probably probably not, not probably but because time. but because because even they're on the verge of going to what is the point? And Aaron might probably argue with this because what is the point? Like they this these guys were already arguing about it off the air the other night. It's just what is the point of having physical copies anymore? Because people are not buying the physical copies anymore. Well, that's the thing. Everything is starting to digital. Correct. Digital. Yep. Correct. So it's like because. Yeah, by the time you finish the game, I mean, like I said, if you're a collector, it's more essential to you, right? It makes sense to you because you're collecting it. You're probably not going to sell it. But for people that just are going to buy it and sell it back to GameStop or just sell it online to make the somewhat profit back to buy the next game coming that they want, that's a grind, right? Like p- pretty much that's what you do. So I don't, I don't know. It's just I don't think that that experience would ever come back, but I do miss it. As a gamer, as a, as as wanting to experience with other gamers, besides being on the fucking mic and talking shit to each other, you know what I'm saying? Like that's for me. It's just the interaction is 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 very key to me. You know what I mean? I think that's the most part that I miss about it. Um, it reminds me of like when the new uh, Jordans would drop. It'd be like a line around the corner for people to <laughs> to catch some new sneaks. Yeah, that, like, that's one thing you'll never catch me doing is waiting for a pair of fucking sneakers at outside. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Um, but Mir, you can go next. Uh, yeah, I mean, you uh, pretty much everything you Summed said, I agree yeah, with. I mean, like, everybody. <laughs> we like, I can't. I, we've been to fucking, I don't know how many midnight releases. I think we did. I know we did Grand Theft Auto. We did Max Payne uh, three. We did Max Payne. I, I think we did Assassin's Creed. We 3. did. Yes. Uh, I think I was with you with the God of War Ascension. Like, Correct. And we God of War Ascension. <laughs> it I was, did on my own. God, God of it War. Was, God. It was, we, we went to so many fucking. Uh, Correct. Releases. The only one we didn't get to go to, I think you were working at the time, but we didn't get to go to the Destiny one. That would have been so crazy yeah. to see, oh, man. I, I think even, uh, I think Injustice too. I think we went to that one too. Yeah, we did. Because you yeah. got the poster with Injustice it too. too. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and, and to your point, right? So like, I think the thing is, though, is, like, back then, like, remind remind you, like, nowadays, digital shit, like, mind you, back then, like, you were able to get fucking collector's editions for, like, $80, $90. Correct. Like, you can't do that now. Like, like it's like it's nowadays. Like $200. They're, for exactly. Thing. They're charging, a, a long, like, bro, the SpongeBob Cosmic Shake version for the, the edition that comes with the figure is $250. That's the price Nobody point. Nobody in their right mind is going to pay $250. For That's that. the price but point. You'd be surprised there's some of them that will. 10, 10 I, to 15 years ago, that would have been $100. Correct. And then that's when we would actually collect a lot of those figurines. So, like, it was much more exciting to collect back then. Mind you, games were cheaper. You know, there were much more game stores. Like, you're talking EB Games was still around. Game Crazy, GameStop. You know, Hollywood game video, Target. right? Exactly. Blockbuster, Blockbusters. Yep. So there was even like you know your local game shops. Like the, a lot of that stuff was much more like there at the time, so it was so much more easier. And then, like you said, like part of it is like I think the the, the biggest thing though is like I think the digital age, like when it came out on the PS3 and 360, um, I think it was more geared, catered for like an accessibility thing. Um, you know, for people who can't go out and go get the games, um, because like nobody gave a fuck about digital during that time. No, right. Like Everything nobody, nobody really Ops. gave a fuck. Like if it was like, oh, I can get Call of Duty Black Ops digitally, nobody cared. You wanted the physical game. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's it's more like at that time, it was just more important to physically have a game. And then, mind you, like the consoles, there were no digital based consoles. Everything was physical. Correct. You know, you had a like whether yeah, your PS3 was digital. It it played digital games, you, but you, you didn't still had a physical. Now you're forced to get things digitally. Exactly. Right? Like back if, in the if day, you want a PS5 and the disc version isn't available, then you have no choice but to opt out for the discless version. Like so, you have to get everything digital. Like back in the day, you actually had to get a um a book that was like an instructions to tell you how to play the game. Yep. You see what I'm saying? That's what I mean. Like you couldn't, we didn't have the privilege to actually look up online and then it's easy as it came. Like, you know, like I said, the internet started going up roughly around like 2005 ish. All right. So yeah, that's what I mean. Like just going like, go ahead, Mary, just go ahead. And like you were saying, 
Um, yeah, like I said, the biggest thing is like, you know, you weren't forced to have a digital console back then. Um, and then, like I said, you just got more bang for your buck at the time. Like you were able to get collector's edition cheaper. You know, a lot of the actual content that you got with the stuff were, yeah, you, was you really exciting. Pay you know the price like, of the game and get some. Now you got to like, pay like $100 more just to get a $200 the dollar collector's edition of a SpongeBob game? Who they aimed at? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much a, a, a two hundred dollar of something of every game, but like who? I don't, I don't know. Wait, wait! I didn't hear you. What you what you say, Aaron? I said the two hundred dollar version of a SpongeBob game. Well, yeah, there's it's like a, it's like two hundred and fifty dollars. You get like who, statues. What you come and, with the Krabby Patty I, formula? Yeah, it comes with a bunch <laughs> of weird stuff. I don't know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like collectors editions nowadays just aren't no, the same. Like, but I miss that. I miss having to um, to be like a, I said in terms of accessibility to games. Like, there's not as many game stores. Um, you know, and then like, you know, digitally you're able to get a lot of games on sale. So like there's a lot of reasons. Um, again, I think the biggest thing now though is like Xbox, PlayStation, with the exception of Nintendo, they're pretty much forcing you, not forcing you, but they're forcing you low key to just go digitally only because they're selling their consoles digitally based. So it makes it yeah. even harder. Like imagine again, lying, like lying. imagine, imagine you're trying to get a PS5, but all the disc based PS5s are out of stock and you have to get the digital now. So now you're forced to get everything. They prefer you get digital. They prefer exactly. You get digital. They so prefer you so it, it, it makes everything much more harder nowadays. Now I now the question, like, could it come back? It could if you know GameStop was a little better and like <laughs> they and consoles were physically right. based only. But like Xbox and PlayStation, they're not going to do that. So like you know, I don't see it, I don't see it coming back. But if it were to come back, everything would have to be physical again. Like digital would have to literally slowly die out. There would have yeah, to be an exciting happens. reason to physically get a game now. Like because most of the time, like bro, remember like buying a GameCube game back in the day you used to get the artwork. Bro, remember Grand Theft Auto back in the day you used to buy like brand new. Get the map. Get the manual. You used to get the map. The map be like, big as shit. Yeah. shit bro. And mind you, mind you, the map used to be double sided with a poster. Yeah. You don't even get that no more. So it's like you buy a Switch game now for sixty dollars, and all you get is the mini cartridge. No, now you the poster. The, manual. the poster is DLC now. That's what it is. <laughs> the poster is DLC now. <laughs> a background for your PlayStation menu. That's what it is. An avatar. Yeah, an avatar. Go ahead, Aaron. I know you said you wanted to. You, that you never use. Go ahead, Aaron. I know you said you wanted to challenge the fact that you was just like, should are, are they better as far as having physical copies of the game or is it digital? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I mean, I think I, I'm gonna always pay physical. It's better regardless. Like, I remember when I, when I first was my midnight release, my first midnight release, and I know you're gonna be like, oh, really? That's not too far from far from now. But for me, it was Smash Bros. Raw. That was oh, the nah, first bro. midnight release. That, <laughs> that I was, was fire, though. I was, yeah, no, 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 not, not, not to say like it, it wasn't bad, but yeah, that was recent. Like, that yeah, it was. was. I think Brawl came out what? What was that? That was 2019? 2008. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Brawl. Um, uh, yeah, my, my mom was like, my mom was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Go to sleep and go to school. <laughs> so that's how that was. Uh, <laughs> but, um, that was when I went through it was, it was for Smash Brothers Brawl. If you know how, if any of y'all play Brawl, that was like the biggest thing for the Wii at the time, man. You saw everybody at that midnight release. We all was in line with talking about who we was going to use, what we was going to do online and all that other stuff. And talking about the story mode and all that stuff. Talking about Sonic and Solid Snake, me and the Smash Bros. We was hype as hell, man. That was my person I went to. But I'm all I'm, I'm always champion physical games regardless, though. You know, because like... It, the magic, I said magic. Not I me. Mean, I always mean magic. Like the specialness of it is taken out of it when you get it digital. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times, a lot of these games break street date nowadays too. Nowadays, right? They like they get released early somehow. I don't know how they do that, but uh, they get released early and all that stuff. Um, you get early access, and I, I don't know. I just like I just think physical will always be better on that, and that's one reason why I say physical was better. Like just take me back a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of stay away from, yeah. from physical a little bit because I, I, for me, I hate having to get the fuck up, change the cartridge, and then go. Oh, back. what? Nah, 
I'm not never. I'm a, 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 major, a majority of my games is usually digital. How far are you from uh, your TV? <laughs> <laughs> my TV's pretty far away. My okay, room is pretty uh, big. I got my room okay, is big. Okay. Well, but, I mean, um, nah. as, as far as like the nostalgia for having those midnight releases back then, oh, it was the best. Like, I I enjoyed having like going out with people to go, you know, wait for the game, and then you're talking to people, you're meeting new people, you're right? Just having fun, yeah. and then you get the game in your hands, like, oh shit, I can't wait to play this thing when I get home. And I think another point to it too is like, you know, like I, I hate to admit it, but like we're aging too. Like That's okay. I don't get I don't get yeah. excited for Call of Duty as much as I did when I was like nineteen. Like, <laughs> like my we're Black get- Ops Two, I was super hyped. Like, we're, but you know, when the new Call of Duty come out, I was just like whatever. We're getting a little more. Uh, mm-hmm. What what is it say? We're we're being a, more of a heavy critics. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just hard to like really be satisfied with like certain games i mean we understand it but it's not for us to understand at that point you know what i mean like for the younger audience like you know what i mean they have a different generation so it's different it's speaking of call of duty that's the only midnight release i really went to uh, i went to a couple uh midnights for call of duty for a couple yeah only i only went to the call of duty uh modern warfare 3 and that's and that was for my cousin i don't even play call of duty and i just did that for him but most of the time when I get new games, I get it like during of the week, but I never get it like first day or anything. I wasn't really big on that, but yeah, I could see it being an exciting thing for like gamers, especially for their f- favorite franchise, whatever it may be. But yeah, I don't I don't see it really coming back because everything digital now, especially with uh, GameStop about to go out of business recently too. So <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> most of their stores are actually going out, right? I think I can give any. I believe so. <laughs> Why not? I mean, why not? I mean, don't you like the fact bro, when you trade in something, they take a majority no, of the profit and shit? No, because most, most people that work at GameStop are assholes and they don't give a fuck. Yes, they are. Me. Yes, they are. Like, they don't give a fuck, bro. Like, oh, you paid $70 me. for this game? Oh, here's a dollar back. Right. Right. <laughs> right. We do accept half phones. Half 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 we, do, we do accept half. phones. We accept headphones. We accept iPods. You know what I mean? Like mm. whatever it was. And then half of the game stops don't even be having shit in them anymore. Like you go to the same <laughs> nah, check shirt, they got shirt they don't got in them now, man. Exactly. They right, got no man. damn game. <laughs> it's just a bunch of Funko Pops in there and pieces <laughs> and shit. Well, it's, they're gonna, it's, it's, they're gonna it's, turn into a fucking convenience. It's sad like, because it, like, like it's sad because like you know when we were kids it was like a different experience it's like when you go into a GameStop, bro it was like holy shit like it's like yeah, going in, it's like going it's like going into a toys r us you know what i mean like even going before that you know what i mean it's just like you've seen the posters you've seen like the they had so many fucking games on there on the on the fucking shelves you know what i mean like it's just it's, it's sad to see where it's going like and that's just because of the, the way technology is advancing right yeah you know it's, it's the same but, thing with most they all going out of business. Everything's online now. I mean, part of it, though, is, again, like, Gen Z's fault. They don't want to follow the, the, the torch. You know what I mean? It's like, mm-hmm. these 2,000 kids, they don't give a fuck. Like, you give it to them <laughs> and they fucking throw it to the side. And just they, like, they, 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 they can care less about <laughs> going in games. Like, why go in GameStop when I could just be on TikTok all day? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like they, 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 Every they, game shop I go to is empty <laughs> as fuck. So uh, yes, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> you're you're basically the supplier of the that that exactly. person. Like, <laughs> and then like mind you, like Amazon is more popular than ever now. They usually have a discounted price. On you can get their place, physical. So. You can get the physical copies on there now. You know Bro, what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if it'll just be only us five going to GameStop anymore. I'm not gonna lie. The one <laughs> I, I see, I seen the dumbest thing the other day. And it, this might actually trigger Aaron because I I found it so stupid, but I gotta say, oh god! Oh so god. the other, so it was maybe a couple of weeks ago, and a guy came in GameStop because I was in there, I was just browsing and shit. But a guy came in and he's like, "Yeah, you know, I'm really excited for Hogwarts Legacy. You know, I pre-ordered on PS5. I really can't wait. You know what I mean? I wish I could play it right now." And in my head, I'm like, "Bro." You do realize there's a fucking digital version that you get early access to shit right now at this moment, right? And that's my biggest gripe with physical releases. Like, I know, like, sometimes they would do, like, 9 o'clock to make it a little bit earlier and shit, but it has it, been a standard now to where it's like you can't pick up your game until after 12 o'clock and shit like that the next day. And that's the part that kind of irritated me because it's like... 
bro, like, just let me pick up the game at oh, 9 o'clock tonight. Like, yeah. What the I, fuck? Like, why I, do I wait the what, whole next day just to come up here and pick the shit up? As, a, as like, how we are now with our age, I would say, yeah, I would like to fucking play my game now. And not that's wait. annoying. Yeah. Like, I don't want to wait till tomorrow. I think, like, I think we had, remember, we had no choice but the wait. I had to wait uh, to, like, fucking, yeah, 11 or 12 when we got Returnal for PS5. Exactly. You it's know so what I mean? Stupid. Like, <laughs> you should have just been able to pick this up at nine o'clock, bro. The developers won't give a fuck if you played it early. Like, who cares? Like, at this point, they all really should. Like, every <laughs> game that that going forward like, should be like an early access shit. If you're gonna pay an additional prices, you know what I mean? It's not like the PlayStation going to lock you from playing the game at nine o'clock when it comes out at twelve. Like, just let how it you know that? How you know that? How you I'm know like, that? How you because know people that? get games early and they be playing them. Bro, a whole week before Forspoken came out, the whole Reddit page was like, yeah, I got my copy early. I'm already reviewing yeah, that, the game and I'm able to like, that, like, come on, bro. I I, I never, I, well, I get that part because like, if they're, if they're like a high, cl- like, you know, if they're on YouTube or like they got a big Nah, bro, these are people on Reddit, just random. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're just random. That's go- but you know what it is? It's because they, they're going to like local mom and pop game stores that get these games early and they're able to go ahead and play them early. But that's what I'm saying. Like, GameStop should be the same fucking way. Like, bro, if a game comes out at 12, let me pick it up at 9. Who cares about a three-hour difference? But no, you want me to wait the next day and you want want me to wait till 12 afternoon. Everybody done played. Like, you're so excited. Everybody done got past the party. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Oh, man. This is uh, what a way to end it. That's the shitty part. (laughs) GameStop is dead. I give it, like, I give it like three more years. GameStop is gonna be out of business. You wanna know how dead? We'll know how dead GameStop is. I went to like three different GameStops in the city in Philadelphia and saw the same woman managing them all. That's crazy. That is crazy. Damn, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Well, I mean, I think that's that that covers about it on this episode. Um, guys, you have anything you guys want to get off your chest? Share with the the audience. That anime list is whack. I'll leave it at that. You said the alienist? <laughs> that anime, that anime list was and, oh, whack. Oh, an, an, <laughs> anime list. That. Yes, it was. It definitely was. Everything about IGN is terrible. But um, <laughs> it just, it, they're not, just. Not everything. I mean, they get a PlayStation VR 9 out of 10, so. That, yeah. That's not a, it's, but, but that doesn't, <laughs> that's, it doesn't that's, matter. That's, like, it, it doesn't, still, it doesn't, you know. it do, almost oh, doesn't. Wait, 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 Nick, did you tell Danny about the specs? I don't think he knew at the time. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't know. Um, we're talk- so, we'll talk about that after, after. Let's save that for after. No, no, no. Hold on. I got to say that now. <laughs> um, so I, I thought I, I thought it was actually just 60, Um, you know, 60 hertz. No, that, sh- that bitch goes up to 120. Are you serious? I have, I, I am I am deadly serious. I'm so saying does that, does, does that mean you will be dropping that five hundred dollars? I am Listen, if, I am going can, to if, invest some very smart money. Yes. If if y'all can drop two thousand dollars on a PC for higher frame rates opposed to a console, you can do the exact same thing for a VR headset. All right. Yeah. It's almost like uh you know why? <laughs> How often are you only playing VR though? Uh, bro, as long as they keep coming out with them good well, games, they got bro, some. Like, they, they got some really big uh, three games. I mean, like it's only three fucking games, but it's like nah, those. There's a whole library, but like, mind you, like the, you're getting a higher frame rate now. That's that's completely different. Yeah, it's like yo, that that 120 is it could be crazy for a VR set. And I know, like I said, it it just it's that pricing. And but listen, now I, I get it. It is in four K too. It is. I think it's in four K. It is. So why, why? Okay, wait. So it can push it in the the VR headset, but not with the uh, the PS Five. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand. Yeah, it does. No, yeah, it does. There's, there's different wait, wait. games. Like the games know, so, are dumbed so, down on VR. And so what I'm saying is, you you can play a game on the PS Five right now, four K one twenty. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it has you, to be. Like, you gotta find Warzone or Fortnite. Yeah. It's specific games. Like, yeah, not every game. It's the game. It's like the developers Warzone, that can't. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I know Warzone pushes it. Modern Warfare Two, Overwatch, okay, uh, Fortnite. My perspective Though, that's odd. Uh, down. Though, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's only select games, but you can play in that Fortnite. All right. So games. so Nick, get the VR. When you get the VR, let me know. I'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it changed my whole person. I was just like, "Whoa!" When we looked over it, 
I looked over the specs. I'm like, okay, the battery life does last a long fucking. I, I forgot what it said, bro. Like, but but remember, you're connected to the PS5. That's true, but it. I think there's a capability where you can actually disconnect it from it too. Oh, get the fuck out of here! Stop. Yeah, Stop. I'm. I, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Bro, like now, now, get me the, excited now. The quest, excited. the quest is my the quest might be on the back. Right? Yeah, and then and then yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it shows like when it tracks your eyes and shit like that. Like it, yo, there was somebody that was just like I was looking more deeper into it. I'm like, yo, this shit is fucking crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, I, I don't know, man. That it's just what did it for me was the 120 hertz, and that's a big fucking yeah. difference from wait, 60. No, wait, 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 wait. So, so if you you could just dis- if like hypothetically if you can disconnect it from the PS5, why the fuck do you need the PS5? For like, for, it's the same thing with like PC, just for extra energy, you know. To make sure right? It's, yeah, it's it, yeah. That's it. like yeah. I like that I'm example. Sure, I'm sure. I'm sure the the 120 because even with PC, right? Like you can't mm-hmm. I you can't go above 60 without without having it plugged in. Yeah. So it's the same concept. Like, I don't think without having it plugged in, you're not going to be able to hit that one. Right. Right. That was a perfect example. We need to figure that shit out. No, nah, but like those three games, I mean, what is it? Resident Evil Village is going to be on there. That shit's going to be Gran Turismo. Ooh, that's going to be crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Gran Turismo. Bro. Yeah. 4K, like, bro, that's insane. It's insane. We'll be walking around 120 hertz with uh, in Village. That's going to be fucking terrifying. That's what I, I mean. It, and then I if if you buy if you buy the fucking uh, if you get like the the um the noise canceling Sony headphones that comes with it that I mean that's an extra three hundred dollars. But if you get those headphones, it would be crazy to plug I'll it in. I just use my Sony headphones. Like I don't know. Yeah, he <laughs> said, "Look, that's that's <laughs> yeah, it. I'll that's it for me." PlayStation Pulse Jones or whatever. But all these accessories. <laughs> are it's great. Go from the show. It's crazy, Aaron. What about you, man? What about you? I didn't get your thoughts on that. Well, the PSVR. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna. I mean, I don't do VR, so I don't really have any opinion on it. Besides the fact that it makes me sick when I put it on. So. <laughs> it it does. It does for me too. Like. So I mean, like, but I mean, I would never. One, I'm not paying for like. I would never pay for like five hundred dollars for like a peripheral. I'm sorry, I just would never do that. Not five hundred dollars. No, I'm not <laughs> that's six. That. That's twelve games, right? What you said, like. <laughs> We'll pay for frames. We'll pay thousands of dollars for frames. <laughs> no, 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 don't say we. Don't say we. Don't say we. I don't have to get my. I don't have to get my discount. You got. You got. Mir, Mir, you got to tell them about the 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 what was it? The Sony. The the, the actual Sony. Fucking what was it? Uh, the monitor. Oh no, the monitor. Yeah, the, the Sony. I think it's like eight hundred dollars, but it's a four K monitor God, specifically damn. for the PS Five. Yeah. I think it's like I think it's like a hundred. I think it's either uh one forty four hertz or two forty something. So like, a monitor like, is more expensive uh, than the the console that you play the games on. Yeah, yeah, but it, it makes sense. It's still cheaper than getting the PC. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. <laughs> like, and, and mind you, you're get you're arguably getting the same or better experience. No, that's let's calm down on that one. I get the it's same. true. It, you have a you have a way higher library on a PC though. Yeah, it's way higher library. Thank you. Yeah, but like we're talking simple terms of four K fidelity, you're not getting that on a PC without call, cuffing up some change. We're yeah. talking a couple thousand dollars of change too. Like, one, like you said before, you I think you said one a, you part. Have to buy a four K so, monitor. So at this point, <laughs> at this point, you're spending about the same. With no, you're not. With all, all the accessories and taxes, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Bro, wait, bro, wait, wait. wait. No, you. bro. No, Thank you're you. not, bro. And I have, no, bro. <laughs> I have the MSI, and that shit was $1,500. No, bro. But, but, Danny, even in that, bro, like, the monitor in the PS5 is is slightly equivalent or less than $1,500. For the experience. But we're talking about his desktop alone we, was 30 we got, grand. We got, a, we got a calculator, right? So a PS5, as I said, 560, right? 560. <laughs> Without bear, plus tech, um, but what like eighty dollars for a controller, right? Eighty for two controllers, like you want Nah, to bro, we not doing that. Who buy that? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. We know this Sony lighter. Bro, nah, bro, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. You, now you just add stuff like, yeah, bro, 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 b
No, no, you don't. No, you nah, don't, bro. No, you you don't. Don't. Not nearly eighty dollars for another keyboard. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. you don't need another controller for the PS Five. No, 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 that's no, 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 that's and that's not the most important thing. <laughs> That sixty dollar a year online membership. That's not even throw anymore, bro. Yeah, yeah, as well. So there you go. So no, uh, bro. Bro. how much did that add on to? What do you mean? Yeah, but that, that, oh, that's well over. Got me a thousand. That's close to three k right there. And Bruh. you know what's and you know what's crazy? A budget in lab is still more expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know what's crazy? A budget in lab top is still more expensive. Mm. A budget in lab top that's not 4K, that's only 1080p, and probably has the same well, graphics card as a PS5. Need, nobody really needs 4K, though. It's okay and shit. No, you don't. I, I'm I mean, if you're not you know. playing on PS5, then I'm yeah. I'm doing yeah. with 1080p, uh, hold man. Up. And let's not forget the PS5 Pro that you want you guys to buy, too. Because that's like, <laughs> what, what's that right there? Yeah, what's that, nah, what's that right you there? Don't, <laughs> yeah, you man, just, you just, just action everything. It's going to be PS5 Pro, PS5 Slim, right, PS5 Slim. PS5 cut corners, you know, there's going to be a, 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 a whole bunch of different ones. Yes. It's around the corner. And PS5 is still about to have all the best games. You know what's crazy? No, these games are going to be ported over to the, to the PC. You know when they're going to be ported over? When the sequel of that game comes out. That's exactly. That's Four cool. or five that's years cool. later. But we still get it. We still get it. Still get it. Four to five years later. At this point, everyone's played God of War. On PS. Y'all can't even run y'all games at 120 4K. We can do that. Yeah, we can. We can do that on PS5. Oh, no. And then, you, and then, but, but, and you then you said 4K 120 on PC, but that, then you know how demanding that is? Mm, I know. You ain't gonna be able to get that. That mo- the average person that would that got that plays on PC ain't playing at 4K. One no, no, they, they got they, they got enough money from not paying the paying to play online to save up for it. Yeah, no, they got it. it. Bro, nobody <laughs> pays. Nobody pays online anymore. Stop lying. They do. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait hold on, hold on. You have to bro. pay a subscription to play online, bro. That's fine. No. Wait, wait, wait. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Bro, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why it's fine. I'm gonna tell you why it's fine. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna tell you why it's fine. Mind you, Aaron is a Nintendo advocate, right? Oh god. Wait, 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 wait. So wait, wait, wait. So PlayStation, right? And PlayStation and Xbox play for subscriptions, right? right? So one, you're not directly playing just to pay to play online. You're paying for the entire package, right? Xbox Ultimate, you get the collection of games, you get free games. And you also get trials. You get all everything all in one. Now on the switch, <laughs> right? oh, oh, oh. we got the switch. Nah, 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 nah. Because nobody want to say nothing about switch. And on the switch, you got to pay the individual membership specifically for online. You get no benefits for that. And then you got to pay for the expansion pack. That's fifty dollars. So who's really be, being bro, scammed bro, here? But bro, 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 we we never, we never, we was talking about, we talking about. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, but, but I, I don't know. No, 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 but nobody wants to say anything about Switch, though. Oh, but we talked nobody about Switch already. Nobody wants to say anything about Switch. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> we talked about Switch. Like, you don't even pay specifically online on PlayStation and Xbox, but the Switch, you literally are paying to play online games. Mir, nah, Mir. Nobody me cares, this. though. Oh, hold on, Mir. Nobody me cares about Switch. Mir, who the fuck plays online on Switch? Everybody <laughs> split two and two. What do you mean? <laughs> No, 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 Mario Kart no, no. 8. No, no. Who the fuck plays Mario Kart 8 on online? Bro, you'd be people, surprised, bro. A lot, people, a, lot a, lot a lot of people play that. Like, bro, personally they... speaking, me, absolutely not. I don't give a fuck about bro, online like, for Smash, Switch. Smash Bros. Like, pr- yes. trust me, people are playing oh, on Patreon online. They're doing it. Literally. But remember, that shit's also only $4 versus 60 
De- nobody paid sixty dollars. This is what, like, Aaron. I don't know where he got that shit from. That's the, no, that's that's exist. true. Bro, bro, it does not exist, bro. It's true. Here, here, no, here, here, here. I'll show you. I'll show you. Yo, bro. Yeah. Xbox Ultimate is fifteen dollars a month. Oh, let me see. Let me see something. Let me, let me, let me look at Where is this sixty dollars? We'll, we'll, we'll get the result. Year. We'll get the results, and then we'll we'll end it there. <laughs> <laughs> hold up! Hold up! Hold up! I'm going to Microsoft Store right now, bro. That shit does not exist anymore, bro. Uh, Xbox Gold. I don't even think Xbox Gold is a thing. <laughs> it's just Xbox Ultimate. Hold up! I can still get gold. I still can. <laughs> right here, Xbox Live Gold. Ten a month, and then for Xbox Live Gold, three months is twenty four. Bro, ain't nobody paying bro, for that shit, bro. bro Xbox Ultimate gets all everything all together. But listen, but, but, Play, PlayStation one month eighteen dollars, three yeah. months. Yeah, no, that's PlayStation. Three months, listen, nah, I, three three months fifty dollars, and then for the year online, is, is one, it says yeah, but it's, you get you get all that. You get all that bullshit that you never oh, really nah, use. But nah, yeah. that's not true, though. Yeah. You get free games with all that shit. What are you, you talking about? Those you don't, you get the free games. You lose <laughs> them when the membership is over. Stop saying yep. free games. So they're, they're, free yours. Bro, they're free they're games, yours. bro. No, they're what you're doing, is, bro. <laughs> Mir, what you're doing is you, you're streaming other people's games is what you're doing. Nah, bro. It's, those it's games stream. Because, like, at that point, what, what, like, if you have Xbox, if you have online and you play the game and you play games online, what will prevent you from stop having the service? So that's what I'm saying. Like, well, you're, you're saying going that to you're, continue you, to have online. Have online service because you get those free games. But what happens when you don't have that service anymore? Those free games are, don't exist anymore. What they're going to do? They can still play those games. You can't, no. Mike can't play it online. No, no, no. You can still play those games. Oh, if you have a PlayStation uh, a subscription right now, I'll tell you that. I download how many fucking games I got for free. It says, oh, you don't have a PlayStation <laughs> subscription anymore. You can't play this game. Listen, I'm not in charge of some of these policies. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. All right. So we'll end it there, guys. Hopefully you liked all the content that we covered on this episode. We had. We <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed all the content that we talked about. And... Um, follow us on all of our social media contents if you can uh, like subscribe and leave a comment in this in this video so definitely we can get in touch with you guys um and then and i think we can end it on that note uh anybody has anything else to add before we get out no i'm good (laughs) no i hope everybody enjoys the rest of their weekend i hope everybody enjoys this episode and uh we'll see you next time all right see you guys peace